Here he is, baby. Here he is. Here it is. Here we are. It's Wednesday night. You know what that means? Coming to you live from Montreal, Quebec, Canada, in the beautiful Rich Life Studios. It's the AEW Dynamite Review. And you know what that means? Brian Jovo, take it away. And here we go for another edition of the AEW Dynamite Review. And yes, my name is Frank Jofo, and we got the usual suspects here tonight. We got Select the Brew to my left. We got the Deluxe Package, Alex the Elite on the top, and the returning. And he hasn't been here for a while. Mr. Comedy himself, Claudio Capri. What's going on, everybody? Hey. Hey. And Omega says hello too. <laughs> we're coming. We're coming mini, off. Mini Kevin. We're coming off a big, big AEW Dynamite. The Dynamite right before All Out that will be aired this Sunday on Pay Per View. And obviously, we are still coming off a huge buzz from this past huge, Sunday. Huge buzz. At Lut Academy, our boy Jeremy Prophet and Jessica Black are going to be representing Quebec and Lut Academy yeah, right. in AEW Toronto. And obviously, they're going to be there. They won $5,000 each and won the prize to go train at the Nightmare Factory for three months. So, congratulations to them. Congratulations to all the participants and all the winners in Lit Academy. And we like to do a special thanks before we start this, yes. this podcast to Jacques Rougeau for everything he has done for Canadian wrestlers. All the haters out there, I'm going to tell you something right now. You guys were all wrong about Jacques Rougeau, and he did it. And you know what? Just to say this, next year, there's already sponsors already lining up to sponsor this event next year. So congratulations to everybody. And Natalie and Jacques Rougeau, we love you. Let's get into the action. But be before we do that, I just want to say one note. In, oh. I just want to say, again, on the, thank you, Jacques Rougeau. And as the sign inside in the back says, Jacques Rougeau for Hall of Fame. Thank you for the signature, by the way. That's some authentic right there. Um, Jacques, thank you not only for this great uh, event you did, these, these four events, this, sh this show, this four-arc show. It was a great time. And I we were saying right before we went on air, I just, I'm like, in four shows, Jacques Rougeau already did something huge for Canadian wrestlers and wrestling in, in total and, and, and propelled them and put some story out there, some storyline, which was this competition, to get people interested and then to also have some buzz, uh, as Frank said here, leading in, buzz going in to the factory. <laughs> QT Marshall himself <laughs> has taken in some of these Canadian talent, uh, some future faces of Canada. So thank you, QT. We love you. Thank you, Jacques Rougeau. We Marshall. love you too. We cannot see. We cannot wait to see. Natalie too. Can't forget about Natalie. Natalie, of course, and everyone involved. The production team, of course. We had a great time, and and yes. We cannot wait to see what these great Canadian talents could do on a bigger stage yeah. with the big boys out there. Uh, in, I can't uh, wait for next year, too, because next year, you know, exactly, it's, it's going to be even we, better. Exactly. It's going to be even better. We, 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 have, we, have, uh, we have some some favorites here that didn't make it this year that hopefully we see go the distance next year. And that's, of course, I'm talking Stephen Maines, our main man, Maines. Carl Jepson. Carl Jepson, of Amy course. Crimson. And Amy Crimson, former Joe Fo in the Ring alumni here, friends of the show, but also... Not even because they're friends, just because they're great talent. Exactly. That's, so the, that's the whole thing, right? Everyone out there, if you haven't had a chance, check out Wrestling Academy. Uh, it's on Jacques Rougeau, the Mounties YouTube channel. All four episodes are up. Should be up by now. The fourth round isn't up yet, but it'll be up very shortly. I'm sure it'll be up either tonight or tomorrow. So look out for that. But the first couple of rounds are there. So if you want to get um, uh, acknowledged with that, you want to figure out what's going on, because maybe you heard it for the first time, that's all right. You guys could watch all the shows on Jacques Rougeau's uh, the, the Mounties YouTube channel. But let's get into the let's action here the because action. we got some big fucking news. I, I, I it's know it's a big weekend in AEW. It's week. all in Chicago, right? We have AEW all out this weekend. And uh, I'll go to you. Uh, uh, I was going to say, Alex, we're going to go to Claudio on this one. I know. How do we start the show, Claudio? It was really intense. Start off with Moxley coming out. Uh, you know, Moxley being Moxley, saying, like, uh, <laughs> saying that uh, he had an open invitation. But you know, as the episode went on, I was kind of, in a way, disappointed. But at the same time, it was a good promo. We're gonna get to that promo in a moment. 
But it was really good, you know, Moxley being Moxley that he is. Uh, he sent out an open uh, invitation to fighting for him to open challenge. I thought it was going to be MJF. I was not going to lie. I thought it was going to be him, or I thought it was going to be some other um, some other wrestler. But hey, you know what? Then the the same guy who slapped CM Punk in the uh, in the face on screen uh, came out and took away. The one thing uh, I want to ask, though, I want to. Uh, sorry to interrupt you, but I know that yeah. uh, Alex um, is. Uh, I, I I wanted to ask Alex because I'm I, I wasn't aware who uh, his name is Ace Steel, right? Yeah, Ace Steel. You, I'm sure you have some background on this guy uh, with CM Punk back in the day. Was he part of Ring of Honor? What's the story with this guy? Yeah, so Ace Steel uh, trained CM Punk, like you said in the promo, but uh, back in Ring of Honor in 2002, 2003, there was a group, the Second City Saints, as you may know, it was CM Punk, Colt Cabana, and Ace Steel. Okay, We're all okay. From the I didn't Chicago know that. Area, and so he, I, I was going to ask, this was my next question, if he was an actual wrestler, but you just answered that question yeah. for me. Yes, yeah, uh, he was, he's been in ROH, TNA. He was in WWE, he had a few cameos, if okay. you remember. Um Remember when they did the Donald Trump and Rosie O'Donnell fight on Monday Night Raw? <laughs> oh How many God. years ago oh that was? God. You know what? He it, was Donald Trump. I guess I guess this is that's going to be the match of the the the, the, the match of the week that I'm going to have to go check out and yeah. see because every week uh, Alex gives us a little match to watch and you know what? There's a, it's some matches. Sense. Well, it's it's not a match. It's a segment. But well, maybe later tonight he'll give us sure. a match to watch. Sure. Uh, but uh, it was you know what I I at first um because all the rumors this week were like. Uh, CM Punk versus Moxie in the main event. It did for me at first. It didn't make sense because of the outcome of of the match they had on Dynamite. Mm -hmm. To me, do you, is it is it is there something there? Like, was this the right move for them to have? Maybe having that match on Dynamite wasn't necessary, but maybe I'm wrong. But what do you what do you think about that, Alex? Like, what was the story there? I think this is only going to be the right move if it's going to be. Well, I was going to say Summer of Punk, but the Summer left us. So, like, the fall of Punk as a heel. Like, he has to turn heel at All Out. And there was rumors online of, like, just, or maybe not rumors, but I should say more like fan theories that wasn't so much of a bad idea, suggesting that we have CM Punk versus John Moxley at All Out, and Punk gets the win with the assist of a returning MJF, with the story being that Punk is, is hated by the locker room so much there's no one there that wants to have his back. We'll just ignore that FTR is there, but just keep 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 yes, this in mind. Yes. No one, no one wants to have CM Punk's back that he has to make the deal with the devil himself, MJF, the only person who hates this company as much as he does now. And so that's how be, he well, totally to, turns heel. To recap, um, if I'm not mistaken, I, I, I'm, correct me if I'm wrong, yeah. um, s s MJF um, has fought... John Moxley, right? It was that match when he wasn't allowed to use the uh, paradigm shift yes. or something like that, yes, exactly and he cheated, the, yeah. and then John Moxley won, right? So there's some kind, there is right. that animosity from MJF to John Moxley, obviously with uh, with CM Punk as well. But like that's like that that uh, theory you just said right there does kind of make sense. So maybe that's the that's the what they're going with. But it just goes back to to, to me that I, just, I still can't take that. Why did they do that match? with the foot and everything and and now this is happening like i don't i don't think that was I, I think there was a lot of people that had a lot of um um what do you how do you call it um uh they were very pissed off they had that bad taste yeah, in their mouth bad taste. yeah you know sure. and, and it's now it's like oh okay not, not, now the guy was injured he wasn't able to wrestle he got beat and now two weeks later he's able to wrestle like are you taking us for fools no, here? No, man, or? he wasn't ready to wrestle. He said he's a, is a new. He was a hundred percent. Yeah, but now all but of a sudden he is now yeah. because he got slapped it, out and everything. Like, this, is, like this is this is this is this is I think is a cinematic tool, right? So 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 what people what they want us to believe is like, oh yeah, well, uh, Punk spoke shit. All right, you know what? You know what? we're gonna give you a little taste of like of like of like him getting uh you know getting this uh you know getting his ass beaten. So, 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 you know, it's like, for example, Bruno, Bruno talks shit, right, about, about us, but then Frank, you go out of nowhere, like, you go in the ring, and then you find out that Bruno's back, 
uh, is out, and within five minutes, we'll be like, oh, yeah, okay, so what, no, what, you spoke shit. What I'm trying to say is that was was that match that when, when CM Punk lost to John Moxley for us to feel bad for CM Punk? Yeah, yeah. Or, I think so, or like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it is, it is, it is, because it, it, it's a, it is. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, okay. I, then I, yeah. then well, it, then, if you see here, like, um, I, oh. I, like I put in my notes that Obviously, the opening segment gave us no context, no story, no hype for nothing. But uh, in CM Punk's promo, he articulately he did, told the story. The first one did. I yeah, yeah, he told yeah, us, yeah, 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 okay, yeah. he's better than he's better than Punk. He put him out. Da da da. Do you think that? The, did did saying, you think that came coming out at the beginning, he, thinking that it was in well, Chicago, I was saying, he was going to get booed? No, but that's what I'm saying. Was he trying to be a heel in this opening segment? I felt he was trying to get some because maybe people, booze people out of it. People were booing, no. but people were cheering too, right? Because yeah, he, but that's, he that's beat CM Punk, and, right? Because yeah. he beat CM Punk. It's it's yeah. like it's like Montreal. If they beat Sammy, you're gonna you're gonna cheer for the hometown guys, right? And you're gonna yeah, boo yeah. the guy that you're the yeah, guy's but, going against, right? But, I'll tell you, unsung but, hero of this whole storyline right here is what's his name? You said. Ace Steel, Ace Steel, Ace Steel, yeah. with the uh, the coming out yeah. to pick up the envelope because nobody yeah. knew who he was. Yeah. I'm sure not a lot of people knew who he was at the beginning, right? Like, when he came, came out, and... yeah, that little dramatic speech he had to give Alex there did, in, in, in the CM yeah. Punk. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's great. too bad though because they, they did reference him last week briefly on commentary. Excalibur mentioned Ace Steel, really, yeah. uh, AEW trainer coach. So you yeah, think that he... was like the uh, the little uh, like the the Easter egg kind of thing, like to was yeah and then and even on the uh, rampage too when they showed those like 30 seconds of uh, exclusive footage of cm punk uh, after the match they okay. showed him with a steel yeah. so okay. it wasn't I, like can... heavily hyped but at least it yeah. was a little bit there can i give my prediction for to this ma match we'll do it at the end we'll, we'll, we'll do it at the end it's predictions we gotta, yes we gotta keep but, people yes. uh, English... on, here on the, on the yeah. channel here we'll, we can't we'll... just give uh, the the end uh, away at the beginning Fuck. Huh. Else, uh... I, I do want to say though that uh the the match with Punk and Moxie from last week with the uh, the, the two minute match like yeah. it, in a way it's an interesting booking decision I mean, like you know we can debate about it for how, how long we want to but well, I think that's what they wanted either, us to they, that's what they wanted us yeah. to do right and yeah and, and it but, worked because well, it everyone's worked, yeah. still talking about yeah, it right? everyone thought but, oh, is the, he the gone again was, now for six months or uh, are yeah. they or is he just done with them because yeah. he's the backstage uh, drama, drama blah 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 or MJF I liked it I liked it who's dirty you know, work again as much as I want to I want to shit on on Moxie because he's boring bores me to death. The storyline, yeah, I'm interested. I'm interested. I'm not going to... I'll, I'll call it what I'll call it. I'm interested to see what happens. They got me here yeah. tonight. And also, just side note, one thing that kept me interested in it was one thing that I always say on the show that they finally did a la old school Night Show and Raw was opening segment started a story with no with a question mark. A couple of segments later, CM Punk came out. Uh, we didn't think he would. And then he continues the storyline, and then we get like the random, we're not unannounced that he's just walking to the ring before, like when we come back from commercial. Now Moxie responding to it in the ring. Yeah, but it, so it, I it was liked, already I, done before, right? They, John, I think John, what is it? CM Punk yeah. came out twice, or John Moxie yeah, came two out weeks twice, ago. two weeks ago. Yeah. It's the same thing. Yeah, so. but, but it, yeah. Was, it was it was three segments. Different trying, things you know happened. What, but I, I, I liked. I don't blame saying, them. It's, I liked that the story carried through the show. It's in, it, it, it doesn't make. It's, it's, in, make the it's show in Chicago. It's in Chicago. So you yeah. gotta you gotta you gotta you you gotta utilize the crowd, the Chicago uh, so no, crowd. But, yeah, with, I understand. With all this, right? I understand. But Chicago aside, I'm saying to sell this match and give it a good story leading in, as opposed to the traditional one segment and announce the match and move on. It was like I said, segment show continued. We went back to it. The story developed. Now his friend came out it with felt the like envelope. Like uh, attitude era style, right? Like, exactly. Uh, yeah, and I, I, I get what you're the saying. The stuff they kept saying. us like, oh, I have to the yeah. foot back and forth. You know, like oh. when you think a, a segment is over, you think it's done for the night, but yeah, lo and behold, the guy know, comes out yeah. and continues the story. You that's obviously, great. You know, yeah, someone's gonna pick up that envelope yeah. before the end of the night. Uh, the everything, all the rhetoric around it was showing like CM Punk is hurt again, or he's probably gone. So we'll talk about we'll guts. talk about when he comes out too after that. But the, I think yeah. the Moxley fucking uh, promo fucking did what it had to do for yeah. for it. I, uh, personally, I I I was like I'm on the fence because I was like how how are they gonna make if they are gonna get CM Punk and John Moxley in this main event again? How are they gonna do it? They pulled it off tonight. I don't know if it's if it's good. Like there, I'm sure a lot of people are gonna be complaining back and forth, but it is what it is. It's in Chicago. You're not gonna have CM Punk on the card. I think that would be a stupid decision. So. Um, I guess the match is gonna have to speak for itself. 
because the match is gonna have to be a fucking uh, a fucking uh, five star fucking match or whatever uh, whatever you want to call it ten star match whatever it is. but it has to be a, a great match to culminate this whole rivalry because if the match doesn't hit then all this was all for nothing. Yeah, but but that's the thing when with doing the two minute squat, well, you basically call it a squash match, Moxie against Punk. It was favorable in that direction because we all like basically accustomed to seeing title matches when with the rumors knowing that they were going to do a rematch at All Out. We were expecting double count out, double uh, disqualification, or any type of no finish. Doing the shock match where it's a two minute match and we actually got a decisive winner we got our undisputed AEW world yes, champion because now it's for the, the right move now it's for the uh, now it's for the the title this one it's not for yeah. interim or both interim, titles exactly. Exactly. got rid of the interim bullshit at exactly. least for the men's world for, title, the, but... for the men's side yeah until until <laughs> we start with the, the women's uh that'll be that, that yeah, we'll, we'll talk about we'll that later that yeah but <laughs> i i guess whatever you know like it's yeah. It's not. It's not. You know what it is. I'm sure Tony Khan right now is is feeling like the heat now from from WWE and stuff like that. And it's and you know what sure. to be booking every every fucking week and that and, and to be on the ball every week. It's not gonna. It's, it's sometimes bookings are not gonna hit. Storylines are not gonna hit. It's 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 it's, it's, it's the way it's the way of life. It's the way of wrestling, man. It, it not every okay. single uh, program is gonna be the best. So you know what you have to throw stuff at the wall and see what sticks. And hopefully this match. And I'm gonna say right like I said before, the match. I, it's gonna be the main event. That match has to hit, or else it's 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 a failed program with CM Punk and John Moxley. I think it'll, it'll make both of them look bad. Hopefully it doesn't. And and at sitting right here right now, I now I am contemplating now who is going to win that match. But we'll we'll talk about that at the end of the, of the night because uh, I know the audio has uh, some predictions uh, for that match. Wait. So we'll see. We'll see. We'll talk about that later. But we'll uh, talk about that later. But for now, who's in we'll the chat? Talk who's about in the th- chat here? Yeah, eight to the tracks in the, the chat. Track, circle of debate. Uh, but also someone that likes to chat. Jericho Lionheart chatting about his match this weekend against. Says Bruno, I sent you a, a message on Twitter uh, from Circle of Debate. Don't so worry about uh, we'll it. check that out later. Don't worry, trust uh, Ivan. in God. I take care of everything, man. Don't worry about it. Busy guy, this guy. I saw this before you, anyways. What's going on with Moving, the, let's get what's going back on to the, the action. The, Jericho. The camera there. Oh. What's going on with the camera? Trust in God. As he's saying that, too. Uh, trust in God and fucking guy, man. Trust in God. Man. So, Jericho. Fuck. It'll never happen at Lionheart, the Academy. Lionheart Chris Jericho. <laughs> <laughs> Look at, uh, look at the production uh, Bruno. Amazing. <laughs> just big, he was just bigging up the production value of the of the show and then uh oh look at that. Uh, I there. was trying That's uh, I was trying to Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was trying to lower my head to match the uh oh, the oh, oh, what's going on? That's yeah. what's going on. <laughs> hey, <where are> <laughs> see, yes, uh, I, the element on. of surprise. <laughs> see, this is what I do on the show. I go for the big pop. I don't tell you what's happening, and I just they, I just make it yes. happen. We kick Claudio out. What's going on, Ivan? <laughs> what is going on, gentlemen? How are you? Ladies guys? and gentlemen, good, it's Ivan himself representing Circle the, the Circle of the Bait podcast, joining us. Special guest on tonight's AW Dynamite. Well, so review. Claudio just got kicked out. Sorry, Claudio. Don't worry, Sorry. Claudio. Sorry. Claudio, is. Claudio is still here. Claudio is oh, still Claudio here. Claudio Housen, what is going on, Claudio? Hey, hey, not much, man. Not much. How about you? Good, man. Good, good. So it's I've about been... time I come on. Are there, are, there any, are there any other surprises we have to know about? Or what's hey, you on? never yeah. know what will happen <laughs> here in the AW Dynamite. the Joker, review. right? <laughs> but, <laughs> like the casino ladder match. You're the Joker. Right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you never know what will happen. So, Ivan, you're joining us. We're just getting into Jericho here, talking about his match uh, coming up against the American Dragon. And I was about to note how Garcia comes in and apologizes for, for the way he's been acting. And pledges allegiance to the Jericho Appreciation Society. What are your thoughts on on this angle here developing? It's a work, man. It's going to be a work. I'm I'm not surprised if Garcia, you know, on all out, you know, basically still be uh, loyal to Chris Jericho. So I won't be surprised. So but I mean, I would be if he does join the Blackpool Combat Club. So the same like kind of storyline that like Sammy Guevara had with the the. Yeah. the Exactly. <laughs> with the inner circle and leaving, coming back kind of thing. I, I see that too. But um, I, I honestly, I, I think, like I've been saying for a million times, Daniel Garcia, I think this is building Garcia up to be that top guy and being around top guys like Brian Danielson and Chris Jericho puts him in that puts him in that conversation. And, and it all, like I said, 
I think it all comes down to the execution of the story of the program because it could all be good and dandy in the beginning and, and in between, but at the end it has to hit and, and it all comes down to what's going to happen with that and who's he going to side with. So I'm going to ask you this. Who do you think he's going to side with, uh, Ivan? I, as much as I would love for him to side with, you know, with Brian Danielson, but I still feel like it's a work. I just, everything overall feels to me that it's going to be a work. I mean, adding him to the Blackpool Combat Club, it's a lot of people already, a lot of members. Yeah. And I mean, how, then who's going to replace him in, in jazz? That's another big question. Now, what do we know with, with the new signings that are coming in? I mean, I don't know who they're, I don't know. I mean, I don't know who they're going to be able to replace with, but huh. I still feel like it's a work. I think I mean, that if they need if they need somebody, they can always talk to Stokely there. It seems like Stokely's grabbing yeah. everybody there with those oh, we'll fucking cards everybody. there. But well, we'll get into that. So let's keep yeah. it going here, uh, Alex. Take us into the yeah. next uh, the next segment here. Just before I do, I want to mention there was one comment that Jericho kept sure. mentioning over sure, and over sure. again. I don't know if people caught it, but it was a play on all is fair in love and war, except he said all is fair in wrestle and romance. Yes, and that's yes. actually a nod. Excalibur kind of mentioned it, but that's a nod to his. A promotion that he worked for in Japan, Wrestle and Romance, that was owned by Jinikiro Tenru. Oh, they, that so was called War, right? War, exactly. Yes. Wrestle and Romance, War. Lionheart, Chris Jericho, 1995. Google it, kids. It's right? funny. It's <laughs> funny. Jericho, Jericho versus Gato. It's, it's, you know. it's funny because I was just going through uh, clips and that, and we had uh, Lance Storm on. He was talking about War, and I yeah. Googled War. I'm like, what does War stand for? That's, and it was... I And he... Him and him and Jericho used to wrestle in there too. Yeah, up exactly. until they went to the ECW Ult and that. Ultimo but. Dragon as well it was there. Yeah. Last Storm, Jericho, yeah. So was it? Was this a heavy? Uh, was this like a heavy like storyline? Obviously, entertainment based company. Uh, no, I don't name? think so. Uh, this oh, was this was like no. the, the even before Jericho was in WCW. I think this is like back back in the day. Oh, kind of okay, thing. okay, yeah. okay. Ninety five, yeah. yeah. ninety five or so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, Interesting. Yeah. Well, we will Google it. Yeah. Well, that's a good Easter egg, though, by Jericho. Because, <laughs> like I said, I, there's there's not a lot of people. I, if but maybe if you go on Twitter and write it in, I'm sure a lot of people didn't catch that. Maybe some did, but it's it's pretty cool that you did because if you know if you know you know right in the end. If you don't, yeah, that's it. Yeah, it's, it's a good way to find out. You got to figure it out. You, know, you got like to figure it out for yourself in the end, like Bruno used to say. Yeah, yeah. So. But, uh, yeah. We have yeah, Google. We can find everything stuff. online. So the that's the best. That? <laughs> but so to go back to the action to the next segment we had uh, Brian Danielson against I keep saying Sammy Hagar it's not it it's Jake Sammy. Hagar <laughs> <laughs> um, and which I think was actually ended up being a pretty good match uh, I felt it struggled a bit with Jake Hager in control I don't think he's the best but I mean after the commercial break after the picture in picture definitely turned into a really good match um, I think he's a little I, I know I just kind of like you know, maybe not insulted him a bit, but Jake Hager, I think after when he was exchanging uh, submission holds and grapples and reversals with Danielson, it worked really well. And that shows because he has a you know great amateur wrestling back background. Obviously, he's an MMA fighter as well. Yeah. He's putting it to use. And he's fought, and he's fought, he's fought uh, Danielson too in WWE uh, yes. countless of times too as well. Um, yeah. But it, it, for me, I, I, I sometimes I look at guys like Jake Hager. The guy, the guy is a literally, legitimately a, a fighter. The guy could, he's like, he could knock you guys, you can knock you out. He's a real fighter. Sometimes I think that takes away from wrestling sometimes because you, you can, you can literally punch the guy in the face and knock him out in one shot. But now you're actually wrestling, and you, and you have to take that away and 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 be a wrestler now. So it's, I don't know. He just didn't seem um, convincing to me. Like he was back in the day. I don't know, maybe because we haven't I, uh, seen him on TV I and wrestling as, uh, as much, but yeah, I don't know, man. Plus, I think he forgot his wrestling trunks at home. He was wearing somebody's underwear no, or something. No, he wore that know, last that time. Was. But he had a match, uh, I think Ivan or Alex probably, uh, a couple weeks ago. Help me with this one. It's Claudio, maybe? Claudio Yes, Castanelli? yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. and, I've, and I, I find Claudio. that when he's with good guys, uh, he's he's good for what he does. Like Alex said, he... he you know, uh, guys know what to make him do. As long as he's not trying to freaking be a high flyer, he's technical. And uh, to your point, yeah, they former uh, world champion. A lot of people say that it's harder for former fighters to uh, transfer into the show style of punching and and and. But he whatever, was just he was a, he was he's, he's a he's a NCAA ch uh, champion or something. But like that, that's a, that's something that makes it a bit harder. But but, yeah. I, but I think like you, like Alex said, good exchanges. He makes it believable. 
Uh, he's strong, powerful. I think when he when they call on him to do what he's got to do, uh, well, I think that's, that's his position, right? And that's, that's in the singles matches. Uh, they he's not going like, to be winning any titles or anything. Yeah. He's there for that reason, right? To make other people look good and prolong storylines, which yeah, he did tonight, be the right? Yeah, You know, the yeah. guy, the guy to weaken the guy before the big fight. Exactly what he uh, did here. Um, no problems with this match. We the people. Uh, anything stand out to you guys, uh, Claudio? Anything stand out to you in this match? No, uh, nothing stood out to me. Uh, I'm like, all right, it was, it was, a, it was, a, it was an interesting match. Was, was interesting. it as, was it as interesting as the dark match that you saw at uh, Shinsuke Nakamura in, in Montreal? Uh, mm. Listen, listen, we can't compare apples and oranges uh, there. Uh, well, frankly. TV match and a dark match. I think we can compare it, but I know what you mean. I know what yeah. you mean. <laughs> hey, Ivan, he's been ranting about seeing Nakamura on uh, SmackDown. I go, but it was a dark match. It was even on TV. Fuck. It's like, yeah, Nakamura. I go, okay, I knew he's a big Nakamura fan, as well as Dan Housen, too, too, as well. I know, I know, I know. But it was a dark match. But to see Nakamura in a dark match, I don't know. I don't know. That's that's a, that's a, that's a different podcast. But anyways. <laughs> but on this podcast... Uh, yes, we did have the interesting aftermath of the match. Exactly. I was going to yeah. say, uh, we were going to talk about the brawl, the, the post-match brouhaha that uh, broke out here. Uh... I guess I saw this coming. Well, uh, oh, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. well uh, just the good news is that it looks like Matt Menard is cleared because he was getting his ass kicked. So that's a good sign, right? By, yeah. by, yeah. by, 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 side, note, by the way, side note, Matt Menard is an amazing, amazing announcer. The jokes yes, and the insults dark, this dark guy has. Oh, like, like when he goes, he, like he forgot the wrestler's name, goes, this guy look what he's wearing he looks like he looks like someone's ex-boyfriend what a loser <laughs> like that is Claudio, you, know, be... you know he's uh he's very good friends with uh matt viviani too eh? i know i know i know i know i know it's I know. it's uh yeah it's amazing Claudio, anyways, didn't you didn't guy. you didn't you have matt viviani on your show exactly exactly we had matt viviani on dirty four podcast and we're there talking about the iws and uh wrestling we spoke a little bit about uh about the 2.0s. There you go. And, uh, and, uh, and if, you, if you want to know more, you got to go check it out. That's exactly. It. Exactly. That's check it. us out. But you know, I one question I need to know is why is how does Matt Menard chew his gum very quickly? That is something I need to understand because no one, none of us can do it. That's a Quebec thing. That I think it's no. Yeah. That's the old school that's 80s. Uh, yeah. The old school <laughs> 80s in the background there, like waiting. You know, and there I'm four sure, guys I'm in sure those Matt promos. Menard, yeah, I'm sure Matt Menard hung, hung around with a lot of Italians. I'm tell you something right now. Cool Hand Ange better fucking smash hook a beating or else... Uh, okay, I'm hey. They announced it for the zero hour. Right? Yeah. 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 He's, uh, yeah. he's a yeah. local yeah. guy, but sorry, Ange. That's another thing, no too. Since we're on the zero boy. hour here, just quick, quick, quick. I want to get you guys' opinion on this. They said that the, uh, the, the, uh, the beef was squashed with uh, Eddie <laughs> Kingston and uh, Sammy Guevara. We were supposed to get that match at All Out. Now we're getting Ishii versus uh, Kingston. What do you guys think about that? There's, oh. there's, uh, obviously, this, this beef is not, is not squashed. Or did they, 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 did they not have enough time to um, get a storyline and, and a program together, maybe? Do you, what do you guys think about that? Uh, for me, I feel like it, it just, how you mentioned, like, you know, the, the plot, it, it was already... You know, pretty much already done the yeah. fact because of the, the whole drama situation that happened and it was out there so what was the point of trying to book it for all out if that's already gone however if they could have done that i would have taken that story make a controversy and just go with it with the whole match like fuck it is might, might as well use it. these real life stories if they yeah. are real and, 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 and to integrate them into the wrestling right because what do we know what's 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 right or wrong now because uh, there's so many fucking beefs going on that who knows what's what's real or not they might as well integrate it into uh, into a storyline like like Riddle and Seth Rollins, the, the, that yeah. storyline there. We knew that they they hated each other for yeah. real, and now it's integrating into a pretty good rivalry here yeah. and culminating at Clash of uh, the a Clash of the Castle. Another so. one that we could yeah. see a few years a few years down the line, and that's uh, Zayn versus Prophet. Another real, but we'll see. You never know. Uh, let's see what happens. We'll see what happens. If you know, you know. If you don't, you don't. Uh, I, I just, yeah, just uh, I don't know what I missed because uh, my Discord crapped out on me. But uh, I think you're talking about Ishii and uh, yeah. Eddie Kingston as opposed yeah. to Kingston and Sammy Guevara. Yeah, I agree that I wish they would have just done the Guevara and Kingston match like they planned because although like it's tough to to know to believe what and what not like we were saying, but I just feel like 
let's say, you know, Eddie Kingston was the one who was suspended. He's the one that took the punishment. But yeah. now it's like Sammy Guevara is out of a match at All Out. Yeah, and everybody and hates maybe, fucking maybe, Sammy Guevara too. So it's, I don't yeah, know. maybe, yeah. maybe, just maybe. Feel like uh, it would have been best to settle in the ring, like Miro said. That's the best yeah, way. Maybe, maybe Guevara is a little, uh, you know, a little boy and he's scared that, uh, you know, um, Sa um, what's it called? Uh, Eddie, he's Eddie. Gonna, yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. I had a memory blank. Like Eddie's gonna probably light him on fire. Who knows? Funny. You know, True, you know, he might, might come in with a gas, but you know, uh, with a thing of gas and just light him on fire. Yeah, Who knows? You'll yeah. probably give him a nice receipt. That's uh, probably what exactly. You know, you know yeah. hey, hey, uh, you know, as his theme song said, you know, when the world cold, you know, colds up, you better, you know, uh, you better not turn your back on me, man. Yeah, so he's probably uh, gonna turn his back on him. It, just it, saying, this could be like another maybe a punishment for Sammy. Like, okay, I'm taking you out of the card. I guess you yeah. know we suspended Kingston for two weeks secretly, and now yeah. that he's coming back, so might as well. Okay, now let's punish Sammy, even though he's gonna have a match what mm -hmm. Friday, yeah. uh, the rematch yeah. again. But yeah, right still, I mean, who's just fighting one on, thing is, on Friday? Uh, it's Sammy and Tay versus well, Ty versus uh, uh, Ruby Ortiz? and uh, Ortiz. Yeah. The rematch. I thought, I thought the rematch. Uh, hold on. Uh, before I continue, I thought Ortiz was was done with Eve because I read that's somewhere. Santana, San... that's Santana. That's Santana. Santana. That's Santana. Santana. Well, okay. Okay. Well, do you oh. think we Sorry, will guys. see? Do you think we'll see Santana pop up somewhere alongside uh, radioactive Poppy, Danny Limelight himself somewhere? You know what I, I've been hearing some some talk that, was... that uh, Danny Limelight might be going to Impact. So I don't know. Stay tuned. Ooh, that could be. I've been hearing from a Santana couple of guys. and Danny Limelight in Impact. That that could that could be a. He was kept off. He was kept off the New York show. Daniel Lamblade in MLW, and he's from New York. He was like, "All oh, like, what the hell's going on?" So I don't know what the hell's going on with that. But I've uh, hearing rumblings that uh, he might be going to Impact. So stay tuned for that. But um, but like like I don't know. It's it sucks for Eddie Kingston because I know that the guys. You know what? Like sometimes he's a very storyline driven guy, and he doesn't have to do much to get people like uh, invested in his matches. And to see that this may and I, I maybe I'm wrong, but maybe we'll get that match later in the year, maybe on a dynamite or something. But I'd love to to revisit that uh, rivalry if it was real or not in the future in AW. So hopefully we get to see that though. So we'll stay have to stay tuned. But oh, yeah. sure. one thing we do get to see finally. I've been asking for it for probably since year one of AEW. My Good boy God. Peter Avalon back oh my God. on Dynamite. <laughs> Unfortunately, he's long, long given up the my favorite gimmick probably of all time of wrestlers. One of my favorite of the librarian. He's now here with the wingman. And let me see if I remember the team here. It's uh, JD Drake, Peter Avalon, uh, Caesar, uh, Caesar, Caesar Benoni, Benoni and, yeah. and what's it? And, and, um, Nemesis. Nick, I think Nick, Nick Nemeth, Nemeth, Brian, Nemeth, Brian, Nemeth, Nemeth, Brian, Nemeth, Brian, Nemeth. Nemeth. That's Dolph Ziggler's Ziggler, brother. Ziggler's brother. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, we see them. They're picketing uh, with some picket the things or whatever, uh, just saying how they they should be on TV. And but is everybody going to do that now? Like, uh, yeah, I, I feel like everyone complains that they're not on TV every that's single okay. week. It's on part of the story. This isn't people being yeah. babies on Twitter. This is part of the story because we get to see a monster in. Well, C CW Morrissey is it CW? W Morrissey. W, w just w, 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 yeah, it's just W. JD Drake got me freak the double thing. So yeah, W Morrissey coming out. This guy looks like a savage. You know what he reminds me of when he comes out like this? Ooh, big the, cast from the WWE. No, the old school uh, <laughs> psychos. The old school Sid days when he used to come out always with the jeans. Yeah. Remember when Sid that oh, era yeah. when he would always just come out with the jeans? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like yeah. that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Shades of shades of an old school Sid here. It's kind of a, a kind of like you. You, were, I'm sure you were impressed by by by. Uh, I call, the, still call him Big Cass in the end. Uh, so. Honestly, I'm always gonna be invested and interested, and and able I'm able to lose myself in the stories more when I see. Uh, big badass, uh, looking, credible guy, credible yeah. guys yeah. on my television. And I was, uh, we'll talk about in the main event, great main event, very athletic, but it's just something about it that, like, none of these guys feel tough or badass to me. They, yes, they're going to do some cool shit, but, like, when I see guys like this come out and another guy like that, and they're, you know what I mean? These guys, I feel like if I had to see these guys, I'd be scared. Yeah. And that's what you get in W. Morrissey that's here. That's what you want. And that's why I think Stokely feels the same. Stokely recognizes. Uh, 
Look is the real deal, man. You can hate all you want. Oh my god! You can hate all you oh. want. You guys can hate okay. all you want. Only you time, all only time will tell. Wrestler. He's getting protected. He's, he's, on, he's not with, my favorite, but he, he is a great wrestler. But we're talking about Morrissey here. Go ahead, Alex. Yeah, I think that he had a really good showing the last year. I want to say maybe a bit more with Impact Wrestling. So like he's definitely in great shape, and I know you mentioned Savage. like Sid and. Yeah, you mentioned like you know coming out like Cycle Sid or like or I should say Sid Vicious rather. But to me, he reminded me of Nine One One from ECW, just coming out and choke slamming people. Wow, yeah. Yeah. wow, yeah. that's awesome. Yeah. And he had wow. an impressive choke slam. I think he did it to Peter Avalon or even the one to JD Drake. It was pretty, yeah. pretty impressive. So, okay, yeah. I love Avalon, man. You see, you see him there getting ready. There, he's always in character. Like, it's that hair, eh? look, it's, look at that hair. That freaking eh? face. I love Peter Avalon. Well, I love to see him get his ass kicked. I'll put it that way. Yeah, but he's, he's, he's good at it. He's good at it. Um, so yeah, yeah I love a choke slam. That's pretty much. We get that. We get. We get this segment here to get W. Morrissey show us display of power, and being another. So, how? Who has Stokely officially given his well, cards to Well, not officially. Now? It's not. Nothing's official yet. No, There's no. But people. who has he given his card? He's given his cards to the, to the ass boys, or the guns, as they're now the guns. Yes. Gun, the, gun, gun the guns. So the guns. Um, have Ethan card. Page. All ego. Ethan Page. All ego. Yeah, Ethan who we Page. We haven't seen in a while. Fuck. Yeah. W. Morrissey. No. Um. I feel like there was more. Was there a, a women wrestler too as well? I'm trying to think maybe, but maybe we'll have to. I, I think, I, I, guess, think, I, think I think Leo, Leo yeah, uh, yeah. I think that I think that's what the maybe. plan is going to be for the baddies and him eventually. That Layla is going to be the thing that gets Stokely with his own faction and away from the baddies eventually. I think. Uh, what one thing? Yeah, one theory I saw like on Twitter, just an idea maybe, is that uh, this could be like. To build the ROH brand, we're still clean, still clean, uh, half the way. Well, yeah, I hope, I hope. He's going to build a faction in ROH yeah, with these guys. That's a good point there, Alex. It'll compliment be, the, the yeah, baddies that he it'll, has. It'll Jay. make more sense for him to finally have that second brand rolling yeah. so all these extra belts start to make sense. And I always said it, <laughs> if Tony Khan does it properly, he could do it better than McMahon did it. Yes, Tony, I said it. When he tried to Still do want a, those fucking no, press no, no, passes, no, 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 no. When, 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 when Vince tried to do the brand split and sell it to us that these are two companies still battling for the ratings, yeah, and yeah, yeah. Yeah, you yeah, know right. what I mean? I, you know, we're all deep. We were all fans at that time, and I, I feel I'm not out of line by saying that was kind of like the little beginning of the okay. Is you know, it's not as intense as it was when it comes to yeah. rivalry, and but they've pit, they pushed that storyline too much. I feel. Back in those days of the brand wars, which always bothered me, that like, hey, the, what brands? Like, to, you know what I mean? It, it's the same yeah. show. F- figure out a different storyline instead of being Raw and SmackDown, pretending you're two different shows. Like, uh, you know, like NXT, like another company, quote unquote, would have been an idea. But now Tony, back to my original point, you actually bought another reputable brand that you're not pulling it out of your ass saying, I created a new company. You, I bought this company. Here's the company. All these extra belts I have, let's yeah, put some over there. This is the collecting dust. I mean, time's running out. He needs to figure out somehow, some way, get a network going, use the YouTube channel, run a yeah, fucking, yeah, exactly. A daily program. Right. Yeah. You have a you have I, elevation, you have dark. Might as well take advantage of using that. Tape use tape that, uh, use half that time to use yeah. the Ring of Honor. Yeah. And, you know, it, you put a little bit of exposure to it. Hey, they still they still have the U- the YouTube channel as well for yeah, Ring of Honor. Might as well just put a, a YouTube yeah. fucking show on it once once a week just to keep people's uh, uh intrigue going a bit. But I like exactly. uh, I I'm not a billionaire. I don't know a wrestling company, so maybe he knows uh, he obviously knows what he's doing, so we're gonna have to wait and see, be patient. We have to wait and see, but it's guys like Trust the process, it, it, right, right? exactly. But it ruins guys like where, where's Samoa Joe? Like where you want to see Cesaro? You want to see these guys? Oh, oh, you know, so yeah. Joe Joe was filming Twisted Metal. He should be back soon. No, so. he just finished, so he should be back. Yeah, and then Morrissey. Go. Yeah, Morrissey's now full back, time. Too. So they'll announce it later this evening, probably on Twitter, that he's all elite. So Morrissey's yeah. <laughs> impact contract's already up because impact nowadays only do six months. They don't do or per appearance. They don't do like a long tenure contract nowadays because obviously the budget yeah. that Anthem has. So now with Morrissey not being in a picture, I mean, what's, what are you going to do with him? That's yeah. where I, I, I'm like, question mark. What are you going to do with Morrissey? I get it. I do. I am intrigued, invested of what Stokely's doing with handing these cards out. I am in a way, but then again, I'm like, when is, is that anticipation going to happen? I'm, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. It just, I don't like you mentioned, Frank, where the hell is Ethan Page? Yeah. 
I mean, that's where I digress. Like, uh, underrated star who hasn't given his spotlight. I feel like Ethan is one of them who should be giving his spotlight. Wow. And and what I question too, what they add Morrissey to the to the what the ladder match is going to have, and that's another thing too. They have what they only have one person they announced so far. I mean, I don't know if they announced everybody else. And usually, there's a, there's what a wild card or the Polk Joker or something yeah. again. So there's there's a lot yeah. of rumors that who could be the Joker because obviously we think it's going to be MJF. I think they should wait on it, but who knows? It could be a, Takesh- a Takeshita or or maybe even a, a what's his name, a Bushi or from. Uh, for... Oh yeah, Tony Bushi because he's not right yeah, now. Him and New Japan, that relationship is really stale. I he wants out, but I don't think he's officially a hundred percent out yet from the contract. But he is not coming back anytime soon. Yeah, so have to not even right now. Right now, the tour that they're doing right now in New Japan, right. because starting this weekend, they're probably going to have now the crowds to be without no yeah. mask oh, and wow. now having able to now cheer and boo for the first time. So I'm excited to see that. Imagine, how the imagine, going, imagine going to an event and you can't, you just have to sit there and shut the fuck up. Like it's, yeah, that's, that's and just fucking clap. Oh, that's just crazy. Clap. Uh, yeah. rhythm. Uh, it's it's good. It's good. It's good for wrestling. It's good for the people there in in, in Japan too. I guess the, I'm sure they've been salivating to to uh, at least get excited at, at an event. Yeah. You know, like uh, everyone's always said, if you're gonna if you're gonna go watch something uh, uh, overseas, uh, I think uh, Japan would be the the number one place to go see it in the Tokyo Dome. That would be the ultimate uh, yeah. venue to go yeah, see. Uh, yeah, so that'd be pretty cool. <laughs> but it's it's good to see. But I, I I I still think like I've been saying a long a lot of the times. I still think that Forbidden Door is still wide open. So you never know what's gonna happen. So yeah. it's it eventually yeah. it's gonna happen. Uh, Forbidden Door two, but in New Japan, it will happen like when they have Wrestle Kingdom. They'll do nine three with okay. AEW. I think okay. that's gonna happen. Well, that's that's for cool. Sure. That's cool. At least that. Well, yeah. hey, but I want to say. Stokely reminds me of Teddy Long and a little bit of Slick Rick mixed together. That's yeah, I like it. Reminds- yeah, <laughs> especially when it's he grabbed when he grabbed Tony there and says, "Oh, fucking <laughs> Tony, poor guy, fuck, unbelievable, fuck." Now I like that's a good, good comparison there. That's very well done. Yeah, uh, I agree with that. And also, you're talking about things that people want to see, and people apparently on the, around the world have been clamoring to see this face off again with Osprey and Omega in the same ring. Including Don Callis, which we find out from this promo. Canadian. And so, Alex, I'm going to ask you, where are we going here with this? Cal- Even on commentary later on in the evening, he was really showing that he's in- that he likes Osprey. But before that, though, Alex, I know I, they, they've never fought one-on-one, Right. Uh, they did once in PWG in, or something. Or? Yeah, he PWG said, he said it in the promo. promo. No, is that what okay. he said in the promo? One of, PWG. Yes. PWG was okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I'm yes. sure eventually we're gonna get that match, but, but yeah, okay, continue. Keep right. that in mind that when when they wrestled each other, I can't remember if it was maybe five years ago. So it's like I don't want to say early in an Osprey's career, but earlier, like as opposed to like I think he was still a junior heavyweight at the time, or he didn't transition yet to the heavyweight division. Okay. It was like just starting or so. So now it's completely different. Like you, you, you put them up against each other. I want to say they're at the same level yeah. as opposed to before they weren't exactly. So now it would be that. Yeah, everyone wants to see this. You're like this is gonna be like a twenty-seven star match. Like <laughs> of course we want to see. It's already a five star before the bell rings. Fuck. Exactly. <laughs> To us, maybe you, not the Bruno. If you like but... that kind of match, to be very <laughs> like athletic, kind of very showy. Man, you know very... what? Sometimes it's uh, good. What will yeah. get me interested is a good story, making me think that these guys want well, it's to the, actually it's the, it's the backstory inflict, of them. You know what I mean? Yes, damage yeah. on each other. Don Callis not... basically told us, you know, like I, I used to okay. watch you in what Japan. I hope, and... what, the, what I'm already foreseeing here is Don Callis is going to be the catalyst to turn Omega he, uh, face again officially. Uh, I'm thinking. I'm thinking that this is Callis slowly uh, angling to eventually screw Kenny over Again. to be in the corner of Osprey to <laughs> help sell that big one-on-one yeah. match that everyone's talking about down the line. Correct. I, I don't know. Yeah. I, my, I could see is that. Is that yeah. that far-fetched? You no. Know? Like, how else are they going to turn Omega? But I don't see face? That Don Callis as 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 a as a baby face though. That's no, no. I mean, they'll, they'll put Callis. Yeah, they'll put Callis oh, okay. on, on, on Osprey's yeah. side. Yeah, he's just like to, uh, to yeah, help. Come on, he's Cyrus Jackal Don yeah, Callis. Yeah, That's yeah, not yeah. a baby. I love Don Callis, but <laughs> Don Callis, <laughs> whatever you want to call way, him, he's not a baby. The only way we find out out is if he signs with New Japan again. Then that's how you know that, of course, Callis is going back to New Japan, and I'll. And join their Wall Street then. I mean, I wouldn't mind that either. And I think they could direct that to Wrestle Kingdom. I mean, he hasn't have he doesn't have a match Ooh. yet. So I mean, unless he wants to build that Royal Quest, which I don't think I don't think is gonna happen, but still. Um, well that could be a good a good direction to book Kenny Omega to come back to New Japan 
at Fight of Wrestle Kingdom versus Will Ospreay. Well, yeah. Callis put his back on him at Wrestle Kingdom and helps out be the new manager for the United Empire. That could be the same thing. Too. Well, look, if if Tony's working, these companies are working together like they are doing, which is helping the business right now to help relieve their costs. They probably do have, like you're saying, these six month contracts. Okay, knowing, okay, we're gonna have Callus until this month, and then you could take him in New Japan with Osprey to keep them relevant over there. So when we do these big crossovers, well, they've been doing think, something. Seems like he only follows Omega, so. and it, it helps to like, control their costs as well. So they're, but they also keep all of their their guys in their little in that circle yeah. in their circle, right? Yeah. Uh, we'll see what happens with that. Interesting, interesting to see what happens with that. Another interesting thing was I enjoyed this next match. Uh oh. My girl Hikaru Shida showing us why she's one of the best in AEW in the women's division. It's teaming up with uh, Tony Storm. She's and number going four ranked. Hater eh? and Baker. The team of Hater Baker. She um, must be winning some matches on AEW Dark that we don't know about. Or yes, something. actually, yeah. on, on Monday, you should check Monday. out, uh, if you haven't, on Dark Elevation, yeah, it was Hikaru Shida defending her Regina yeah. D Wave championship against Emmy Sakura. Yeah, Maybe dude, a 10 minute match or so. Match. Very, very yeah, good match. Hard hitting match. They beat the shit out of each other. Like, like, like she came out with yeah. she came out with the, a title tonight. And like to the untrained yes, eye, like, let's say somebody watches it for the first time. They don't they would think that she's the AEW women's champion, right? Like I don't know, like maybe there's there has to be more explanation. I've been saying this for a while, but I don't know, man. It, I, I like it, like I think it's getting a little bit weird with the, with too many titles and too many belts, and it's it's getting like overshadowed. Like you're overshadowing your actual champions now. Like it's I don't know. Is so he... hold on before, before we continue. So what was this match tonight? What was it proving? Because aren't they all fighting on it's, Sunday? Yeah, it's, 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 it's exactly yeah, it's why, why they did it. They say a preview, Claudio. So Claudio, in the wrestling world, when they do these kind of matches, um, yeah, it's it's to be able to talk about that they're all going to be in a match on the weekend, and okay. aka promote the pay per view. But without them okay. doing the actual match that's going to happen, in right? Choice, yeah. And it's to kind oh. of inject a little storyline into it. And maybe, you know, if you didn't watch okay. last week or whatever, if you Keeps just watch for Yeah, if you just watch this week, let's say, for the first time in a month, mm -hmm. like, like you have mm -hmm. probably, you've been doing shows. But at least you know just from tonight that they're having a match and you saw them in action. You see that they're good. They're all four great wrestlers. And you know what? I was going to say, Tony Storm, uh, she's surprising me, man. Uh, she's a good wrestler. Yeah, she's, yeah, she's, she's uh, really good. Yeah. <laughs> she's a good wrestler. Yeah, but that's why. I, I, I don't know. Wrestler. Yeah, I, but I find against a uh, hater and Baker here uh, really brings her out a little more because of their style, I think. Well, I, I think uh, through the grapevine, I think she was the one that was supposed to beat Thunder Rosa yeah. on Sunday. And yeah. now, Puzzle. now yeah. like maybe things have changed now. Like, honestly, I, I could I could see her with I could see her winning. I could I could literally see any of the four women winning. Um, but me personally, I think hater. I think they should give, give it to her. If it's going to be interim, why not give it to her? Why not give it to I her? Agree. Stir the, stir the pot a bit. Yeah. You know. I to, agree. That should be the wild card there. Yeah, Just have I don't think you'll expect her winning, like a Chris Jericho winning, yeah, exactly. or or the, or the women winning the tag team titles on SmackDown. Like nobody expected that. Give something that's unexpected to us so that people could talk. And you know what? I think she deserves it. She is. I personally, I think she maybe she's not as good as a wrestler as Tony Storm, but she is almost there. Like, she's... Obviously, she's better than Britt Baker as a wrestler. Wrestler. Not maybe entertainer, wrestler. She is a good wrestler, yeah. eater. But yeah. why not give it to her, man? Why not give it to her? Because I think everyone I just thinks that Britt Baker's yeah, going to win again. So. You can't just always put belts on people. It's like we saw what they did with Adam Page. God bless him. I can't wait for him to get another run in the future. You got to put the belt on someone that could sell those matches, get people pumped and interested. So if Hater is a great wrestler, what could she do by herself to sell matches, you know? Just keep in mind, like, with Hater winning the title, we can, you know, revisit the eventual, like, breakup of Baker and yeah, Hater. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Yes, but now you can see because it would be Britt Baker yeah. selling that match. The same way we always yeah, say Christian, that, there you go. Christian Cage is selling a, that match. Soul, yeah. You know, yeah, yeah, uh, exactly. CM Punk is selling the match at the pay-per-view. Or maybe Layla Hirsch is going to come out of nowhere and beat them all. Layla Hirsch. Layla Hirsch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's still hurt. She's still hurt. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, she's still hurt. Yeah, she's still The problem with this is is the booking. I'm not blaming the women. It's the booking. How do you give the time on a two-hour show how to book these women and give them storylines? But you know what? That's why you're going to be a fan about Rampage, too. But you know what it is? They don't use Rampage. That's Cardigill's. Right there, you can yes, say. Yeah, because yeah. they're only using her there. 
They're not yeah, using which her is, on, on, on yeah, which, yeah, which is uh, sorry to get you, to cut you guys off, but I'm like, yeah, you you, you know, you were just saying like like Cargill's is rampage. So I'm like, why don't you make again? What do I know about booking? But like, why don't you use the women like you know the women's storyline on rampage? You know, if you're yeah. gonna have this. You know, why don't you have Serena Deeb's there? Why don't you have a Hater Baker? Uh, on AW Dark on Elevation. But I, what I, what to say with the Ivan and 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 I'm totally agreeing with you. Booking, it, it's it only goes so far. Sometimes it hits, sometimes it doesn't. But with all these injuries happening now, it it's it changes a lot of stories and programs and stuff. So people are yeah. scrambling now because maybe they had maybe a four or five month. Uh, story going and, and, and they had this going have this, and then okay now you're injured so now okay now we gotta we gotta do something else with this storyline now because obviously maybe they had a program with Thunder Rosa and Tony Storm going for three four months now Thunder Rosa gets injured now we have to we have to we have to change things around it's the same thing with CM Punk when he got injured uh, same thing when uh, with with uh, MJF with Warlord it, things change and things have to happen on the fly it's unfortunate for us because we follow it so much that it's kind of sucks when they veer off from certain things, but it's. I think the main reason is because of these injuries, and it's like Jeff Hardy and Matt Hardy were supposed to be tag team champions up until he got pulled over in the DUI and stuff, right? So yeah. people were well, complaining that Young Bucks would. Why did they win for? Well, because that happened. It's it's out of their hands. It's it's stuff that that things yeah. happen. So you have to just go along with it, and 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 the show must go on. So, you know but yeah, no, no, I'm not disagreeing there. The thing is, the, what I'm if, what I'm digressing is more of how to give these women time. I mean, the original plan was obviously Statlander to be the one at all out yes. facing yeah. Thunder Rosa. She was the one who was originally going to win because it was yeah. about her time to you know yeah. to be a champion. She paid her dues and she changed her character as you could tell. But she mm -hmm. got hurt. She tore another ACL, so that's when they booked Tony Storm. Mm -hmm. Then Thunder got hurt, and then they just they booked this four way, which I'm, I'm okay with. It, of course, you always gonna mm -hmm. find a, a plan C, B, C, D, and E. But the only thing what I'm digressing is giving him the television time but to hype I, I, up I, I, the hype up the match and I, hype it up, even though it's short notice. But you gotta find a way to hype it up on both brands, on, on Rampage and Dynamite. On this match, I felt that the ending was good. The match was good, but they should have had something in it where. You know, a classic maybe Tony Storm by, by mistake uh, hits Sheeta. Yeah. Uh, then at, uh, the, they the, win, but they're so just, obvious, though. No, it's always or, 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 or maybe, and, or maybe you know, you know uh, something happens and Hater gets the pin and now Baker's looking a bit jealous. Uh, but lately, I think something. they've been incorporating. You know, I'm just giving it just, they should have. Yeah. Injected they've been incorporating more storytelling in the AEW darks and elevation lately, so maybe it's it's something that they're trying to do a little bit more, so people could get involved in the storylines. Even though they're not on TV, there is still storyline buildup and and progression on yeah, the but, YouTube yeah, channel. Yeah, so the, the, you know what? Yeah, uh, but it makes you have to watch the YouTube sometimes. I think that's yeah, but, that's what they're lacking too. If you have if you have yeah. fucking 12, 13 matches, okay, fine. But some of them don't. Yeah. Don't do anything for me. There, some of them are like, okay, like, why is it even on YouTube? Like, I wouldn't even see how people react. Some of them talent. do have yeah. some storyline progression in it, and maybe that's something that maybe they should be pushing uh, in the future. Maybe watch AW Dark because this happened. You know, it, maybe not watch it live, but because oh, why is Sheeta doing this on TV? Oh, because she did something on AW Dark. Go check it out. Well, I think that's what they're doing. Wow. Um, they, they were doing it from the beginning, man. Uh, that's one thing I liked about AEW when I discovered them when they first started and I found out about the Elite and their stupid channel and being the Elite. I enjoyed their... They, they were actually <laughs> building some of the storylines in that show that went on to TV, like the old... Again, the Peter Avalon and, and Cutler... Uh, the reason why you first know one, First one to Peter get a Avalon, win. Right? You know, it started on the Being the Elite uh, series and it carried into Dark and then carried into... had that match on TV and finally on Dynamite. Like, so... Uh, I like that they do that because well, to, they don't to have the a network, hardcore right? fan, you have to have a little they don't have value a network. to watch their network, those right? Their YouTube channel. So it's it's basically if you want to know what's going on, keep keep up to date on the on the YouTube channel and, exactly. and on, on, on BT. And but like uh, that. that being said, we got to keep it up to date and keep it going here on this show as we get a little uh, glimpse into the Kip Sabian and Puck world here and the whole paper bag. We get a little promo uh, pumping up that match. Um, 
What? Uh, I don't know. Jim Cornette fucking threw fucking Pac under the bus a couple of days ago, saying that yeah, if you're gonna take that long to do a move, just don't fucking do it. Like, kind of thing. He, say, he says that all the time about him. He's been saying that a long time. Yeah. But that's the thing. Sometimes when you're when you're a high flyer, you risk that. And again, I'm not gonna harp on it because I don't want to be a anyone hate me. But that's the thing. When everyone says that Osprey is amazing, yes, he does very creative things, but. Yeah, but you see the it's difference very, with Osprey. It's does very something. It's, showy. It's, it's, it's bing, very, bang, boom. It's very it's not, it's showy. Not, it's not. It's it's exactly. it's bing, bang, boom. It's not bing, bang. It's a different type of coffee. Show. Okay, boom. You know, like exactly. It's, it's a different type of act. Let's yeah, say on the variety show. So. The, the the only problem with that with Pack just to like we'll we'll touch upon it I think briefly and then move on because that ignore that stupid comment. Yeah. But anyways, the <laughs> point is that the only problem with that is that uh, with Pack. Uh, taking too much time to to set up for that move is that you had to have one of the Lucha brothers at least keep the the Aussie Open and Osprey yeah. busy, you know, holding them up at the same in the meantime. That's the only issue with that. At least the camera work was good this time. They this didn't time. actually film the guy standing there waiting for yes. Pac to jump on him. So bit by bit, you know, we'll we'll get there where logic plus, uh, comes plus, in. Uh, slowly, plus, slowly. Don't 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 forget Pac is. Uh, Blind, so you know maybe he can't see him. You know he's. <laughs> you never know, Alex. Not right? head black. Always blame him, right? Always... Yeah, damn right. Blame, him for yeah, blame that bastard. Especially, oh man, especially it's the like promo that he did. Mirror, yeah. Oh my god, I hate. You know what? I... That was next, right? Because I had to go take a piss. In the <laughs> yeah. yeah. So we we got the, we got the okay. Darby Allen and Redeemer and okay. Brody King. Whole, I did. Uh... Okay, I liked. Uh, um, uh, I enjoyed. I enjoyed the House of Black, uh, and then I enjoyed Miro. I enjoyed Darby Allen, but Sting yelling. I'm like, what? What the fuck? What, sorry, what the heck was this? Uh, oh, no, no, I know it's Sting. Sting. Yeah. Sting. Sting would have been better it's in this time, promo. Folks. This is Sting. Yeah, no, no. If Sting, if Sting just turned, this do it. Do what he does. Like I oh, like no. Sting, but if he turned and just looked at the camera. And not say a word, I would have said this is Miro's amazing promo. But no, the fact that Miro Sting had to yell, I'm like, oh my god, you, what? Claudio, no, you have to know Sting from like 1995. Like that was his. He's a yeller. He's an energetic yeller. That was yeah. The, was, what was the thing he used to go? Woo! Or was it? The, yeah, it's showtime. Woo! Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But you know what? I've been saying it for I don't know how many weeks in a row. Kofi Weeson and Brett Fart. Hey, in the chat. what's, what's up, going on, guys? Everybody? Dirty heels. What's going on, God brothers? The Kings of New York. Oh. But what I wanted to say was that um, I'm still waiting for Sting to uh, turn on Darby Allen, uh, and I think it should happen. I think, I think I it has to happen. That. I call that, by the way, I call that this theory. Uh, this All the WWE on. guys that came in, that, like guys in those positions, yeah. like like badass Billy Gunn turned, uh, Christian turned. Yeah. Now, I, if I'm missing anybody, uh, oh. Mark Henry well, wasn't. We're in. waiting for Rey Mysterio. Then that's so, the case. Yeah. So. Wyndham, Wyndham ha- I'm saying this now, and again, I might, I might be, I might be going a bit crazy. Wyndham has to come in now. Because because oh, if Sting uh, is gonna turn on Dar- Darby Allen, it ha- it, the moment has to be soon. Unless unless yeah, Wyndham goes. We just said he, he's probably gonna go back to WWE. Exactly, it makes sense. Like, you know, uh, he, Ro- Roman has to beat someone else, right? How many? Yeah, <laughs> but, yeah, but listen, that might be a troll. So what do we know? Anyways, but I'm just saying uh, this promo was good until Sting yelled, and I will stick with that. So uh, I'm just that's gonna... just my. We have a trios match at all Spe- out. That's speak- what came out of it. Speaking of opinions, I just want to shout mm-hmm. out uh, Mr. Polo Cantu in the KFA U- oh. Wrestling Universe uh, Facebook group. He uh, dropped a comment uh, yesterday, tagged us, and he goes, This is regarding Darby Allen, and they were talking about his. Uh, he, apparently, something surfaced about he saying that he refused to sign and held out somewhere to get more money. Um, I don't Darby know if you, Allen? Yeah. I don't know if you guys heard that, but uh, that's the gist of the article that they were chatting about. And so Polo uh, wrote in the chat that this g- the guy is niche and everyone niche loves him. Me, I'm waiting for Jeremy to come in and challenge him to steal a cage match and realize what a man looks like and separate and separate the men from the boys. Yeah, Ain't that right? styles, man. You can't compare, man. I'm just it's saying just, that the, the people out there... Compare, man. I'm just, Jeremy, I, not, I'm just saying the that. people out there, unbiased people out there, the wrestling fans, are waiting to see Jeremy Profit in AEW. That's all I'm, that's all I'm getting at just right give here. give the people what they you want, You could have just said that and not have to. I want to <laughs> shut up. in the cage. <laughs> that's it. That's what I'm saying. But for now, we'll have to see what Darby Allen does... Uh, with the House of Black here and the Redeemer on his side. Um, but now, 
we get somebody that knows how to articulate a promo. Someone knows how to tell you a story in a promo. Someone knows how to sell you a promo. Someone knows how to take you through a little journey within a couple minutes and, get the, and end it with the crowd fully sold. And I've never watched this guy and his opponent in their quote-unquote prime in the worst era of wrestling probably, which is the WWE the last 10 years, the same era that Kevin Owens oh, and Sami Zayn were, were popular, arguably the worst era of wrestling. Your opinion. Un most unpopular, I'm saying. Most unpopular. All I'm saying is CM Punk here. Ah. Uh, I, I, this guy comes out and, I, and is a professional. He sold this match right here. We didn't know he was going to come out. At the beginning of his promo, because the beginning of his promo, I was ready to shut the fucking TV. But that's how you have to get people. Like, where is, on, where is he, we where to is fool he here, going fuck. with the story? The, his, his buddy not comes out. He's CM Punk. Get, ends it with the crowd going nuts, finally. If it wasn't in Chicago, you think it would have fucking had the same reaction? I think it would have. I, I think know. it would have. I, I think it would have booed him. They were booing him at but, one point. But all I'm saying is that he told you the story of what's going on here, clearly. To, he, so, whether you're a fan of his or not, he told you what's going on. Is all I'm saying, uh, um, and that's what I like about it. And fuck, it's like CM the Punk's promo. winning on at all. Uh, I can't believe it. I just yeah, they just yeah. clicked in my head. All good this, man. All this he is sells happening. matches, man. He doesn't do promo after promo telling you I'm gonna be violent. I'm gonna show you why I'm violent, and we're gonna go be violent, and I'm violent, and I'm violent. Like yeah, but, okay, yeah, but, yes, you're gonna get that pop. Yeah. People are gonna love you no matter what. Okay, he doesn't need the belt. Let Moxie do his entrance and get someone to do violent shit. He will sell. But when it comes to the title and people that can sell a match on the mic in the ring, yeah, right yeah. now, CM Punk, compared to Moxie, say what you want. Moxie could do it better. I don't care what you want to say. If Moxie could do it better or CM uh, Punk? CM Punk could do it better. Well, Sorry. You say, I, I, no, 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 you said it. <laughs> well, you said I, 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 it. I, I, yes, I, I said it. <laughs> There's one fan in that Chicago crowd, that fat guy in the front <laughs> yes, row. Yeah. The one Who was that all about? Fan of CM Punk. Who's and that's that because about? CM Punk... He, th he, th he didn't know if he was a healer face at first. It's like, make up your mind. Are you trying to get sympathy by saying that you're injured, exactly. you can't walk, you can't take your dog out? Well, that's what it was, right? That's what I people. thought he wanted the crowd to fucking feel bad for him because it's in Chicago. They're going to feel bad, but, but there was fucking booze guy. and everything. He made, so it, he made it look like he was giving up. He really sold you no. that okay. So no, he, he, he didn't sell me he that. He doesn't give a fuck about he the crowd. He threw a random line that shit. Yeah. It's screwed up, punk. Like, get your shit together. Like, you have an agenda. Exactly. You have to get you see how we're all from the passionate crowd. Do about not this. insult your audience. You see he, was getting, he was getting more sympathy when he was in the fucking in the program with fucking MJF getting hung with that fucking yes. chain there. Not fucking and that, I think that was even in Chicago too, the fucking see, whatever the fuck it was. But you see, the, on, you, see the, you see the passion and excitement yes. and interest that he incites from yeah. his from his segment. Waking waking when, up from his nap before he came out, <laughs> fuck. Um, fuck off. See, don't get me wrong. I was the big, I was a big CM Punk fan. We, Everyone asked me, but, but we know, Frank, you were a big CM Punk fan. Yeah, I know. I was. You know what I mean? We but, know where we all stand here. CM mean. Punk is a heel. He's not a baby face. I don't know why people cheer him. I love, and I love CM Punk, but I love him as a heel. Yeah. Turn heel, for God's sake. He will, <laughs> and this is going to happen. He's going to turn heel. Don't be surprised if we see MJF helping him out. And then he should never be babyface uh, ever I, I, again I, I, in his career. No, no, hold on, punk. hold on. Let me give you a scenario. What, 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 hold on. But, but with that scenario there, but if, if you think that MJF coming back, people are going to boo him or, or cheer for him. I, I think, think MJF, they're going to cheer. I think MJF's uh, return. I'll, go ahead. I'll let you do, do give your scenario, but all I'm going to say is I don't think MJF will waste his big comeback on a just randomly coming in to help somebody. I, I know MJF is old school, and he's going to be. I think he's going to yeah. come back with a promo, to be honest, but uh, I mean, go ahead. Go I mean, no, 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 yeah, but I mean, I agree. But it could be two different scenarios. Could yeah, be either. Yeah, that's why I want to hear yours. It could be either um, MJF coming back, be the be the face at this time, and trying to save AEW from Punk and Punk turning heel on Chicago, or or have them join together. They both hate the company. They both how yeah. the direction is going, make it like, oh yeah, let's just burn the place down. Like, like I could throw an example. Like, uh, I hate to use WWE one, but. Like Austin and Triple H, who would ever thought that they were going to team up and be an alliance together? And or Austin and McMahon, I would say too. Just that too as well. Yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> you could do the same thing with the storyline. Yeah, and I, I get what you mean, Frank. That what about if the crowd would cheer? That's good, fine, fine. But then we'll we'll see what will happen. You know, throughout Dynamite, the you know the recap, the aftermath. See what happens after that. But honestly, the biggest question for all of you guys is like, is this worse? Purchasing the pay per view after all of this bullshit that we just saw. I mean, we saw this simply this emotional crap that I, I, me too. I was with you, Frank. I wanted to just not want to see that that segment. It was just, it's stupid. Well, I, I'm, what I fight for is then why did you bring them back sooner 
just to have him lose at Cleveland because Moxie is from Cleveland. But that, that's that, him, why did you have that match then? Then then if thank you. Then thank if you, you get John Moxley losing to CM Punk, it's like, well, John, like, sorry, like you at least you got your your five seconds of glory in, in your hometown, but but fuck, man, like I, I don't know, yeah. this, something has to happen in that main event. To, to convince me or convince a lot of people out there, because I'm sure there's a lot of people that are thinking the same way as us right now, that something has to happen here. Like, convince us, because because what? It's like, it's, like, angle, it's sure. like saying Cody Rhodes uh, could have returned two weeks later. Like, I don't I don't get it. Like, if you're yeah. hurt, you're hurt. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I think they could have did what, a, lot, yeah. a lot better than what they did in that match on Dynamite to, to promote them being in the, in the main event at, at All Out. So, I, I, like, I don't know, man. Just, I don't know. Like I said, I hope, I hope this, the story ends correctly and makes yeah. both of them look good win or lose but i i right now i can't see it happening because i still have like that bad taste in my mouth of why did you do that for and you couldn't wrestle now a week and a half two weeks later you're you're, uh, you're you, ha you had a can of spinach and all your popeye and you could fucking wrestle fucking john moxie who's been being portrayed as the baddest fucking guy uh, baddest wrestler and the best wrestler in AEW for the last year and a half two years so I don't know, man. They, they, that, then that makes John Mox look like an idiot after. You just lost to a guy that it, fucking... It does. That, that has a... Uh, like, I don't know, man. It's, it's weird, but man. See, it, it does because then... So you're telling me that you gave him the belt, the legitimized belt, not yeah. the interim, but now you made him a... Okay, now you're legitimately a two-time world champion now. For what? For a week and you lose it at yeah. all out? Yeah. But what was the fucking point? Why, then, then why call it an interim? He should have relinquished the belt if he was hurt, yep. have Moxie run with it, he could be the first ever two-time legitimately yeah. AEW world champion. And then what I hate, how Khan came in this morning on Busted Open Radio saying, oh, no, well, you know, we changed the game, you know, the plans. The fans mm -hmm. are so used to, mm, you're full of shit. You're just, you can't bullshit a bullshitter. No. You know that. You cannot do that. You're just trying to use an excuse because you don't, you don't have a plan. You didn't have what to do. Like, okay, exactly. shit. Why are you saying this on, on fuck, especially on Busted Open Radio? Because, you know, yeah. you're absolutely right, man. And, and, you, and you know what? Sometimes less is better. Shut the fuck up sometimes, Tony Khan, man. You, you, yeah. you fuck, man. Ah, man. I don't know. I don't know if you should quote Christian on this, but maybe Tony Khan is turning into a carny piece of shit, too. Yes, know, he is. <laughs> he, well, he's a fan. We're trying he's to get press first. passes, guys. Shut up. Yeah, but the truth, <laughs> the truth hurts sometimes, man. No, no, we're kidding, we're kidding. Tony, you're doing a great job, man. I know you're working hard out there, but uh, you're gonna get it together. It's a lot of work, man. It's a lot of work. Well, you know These what? Guys they have a chance. Me. They have a chance to, to close the book and have a fairy tale ending with the outcome of that match, wh whichever way it goes, because. I don't know. I, I don't know what... You're going to be talking about it either way. That's how I feel. Like, like, no CM Punk could become a two-time champion now uh, this Sunday. Like, anyways. But I mean, I think A Steel saved the segment. Otherwise, it was going to... Yeah, that's what I said. He, a Steel, out of yeah. everyone in this match, is the one that sold well, the match. It's oh, yeah. A Steel. That you know what? I, I think the only... What's the, he going to do with the, the only, only The only thing that can actually happen is if that A Steel screws CM Punk in, in, in the, the main a event. A Steel. Uh, we didn't and know makes John Moxie win. Because that's the only thing that's going to be believable to me. You know, like I was a steel versus fucking uh, MJF next year, all out. Let's start to build now. A steel like. just randomly drops an F bomb too. Oh well, who cares? Um, and and, and TSN didn't cut it off in Canada. Oh well, yeah. <laughs> they're not gonna be happy. Uh, I, um, I want to make sure. I, did I not miss something? We had the uh, Jack Perry and uh, Christian, or was there something right before that? Uh, no, it was right after. Yeah, okay. Perfect. I thought I missed another it. great fucking promo by Christian yeah, again. Yeah, oh. yeah, that was They both, that was they both agreed to. That was uh, cringe. What's the what's the what's the, what's the what they say? The no contact or no, no physicality? No yeah. physicality. Yeah. Every week, no physicality. So now he's called Jack Perry now, not Jungle Boy. Well, for this match. For this funny. match, oh. Yeah. He's not funny. Taking a book out of Chris Jericho. Uh, Didn't being... I say that what? last week that he has to drop the Jungle Boy for a little bit? To he yeah, should. He should. He should. Yeah, we said, just, just call him with Jericho. Tony always calls Khan, him Jungle man. Jack. Jungle He's Jack watching Perry. this damn show. Tony Jungle Khan's boy. watching like, you're, be, you're a boy. He's in the Jack end. Perry for now, and when he turns heel, he's going to be sexy boy Jack Perry. Mark my words. I said it last week. I, I, and I, everyone's going to be pissed off. He's I forget. Was he in Dark He's got a sexy girlfriend, he's going to piss everyone off. Was he in Dark Clothes again Sexy boy Jack Perry. Tell you what's that? Was he in dark clothes again tonight, uh, Jungle Boy? Uh, I think so. I think so. Yeah, I, he was. I he didn't was. really pay attention. I still think he should turn heel. Honestly, I don't know how it'll work it'll or how soon. it will happen. happen but... I thought he did turn soon. heel. I thought he did turn heel when he came back. I thought he. I, I thought he. Already, no. He already did. Uh, I'm like, you okay. Watched, you watched the show on mute or something, Claudio, or like <laughs> you listen to the crowd, man. We, 
Do, do you mean Luchasaurus body or maybe? You... Oh, yeah, probably. Oh, you meant Luchasaurus, yeah. yeah. yeah you meant this was useless. Right. This was so yeah. useless. I'm like, what? No, at least it was short. And, you know, I think yeah. it was to the point, really. Like, you need something Christian to is car- carrying this fucking segment. Uh, like, uh, his life depends on it. Wow. And God bless the guy. He's the guy to do it. Yeah. God bless the, the guy, guy man. That Girl, guy. Christian. Was, he became the biggest heel in the company, just like that. Yeah. Just like that. It's crazy. It's crazy. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't wait till the Daniel Bryan become heel again, like he was doing at the beginning. That was great. Um, or Bryan Danielson, one of the two. Yes. Brian Danielson, sorry. Yeah. Hey, uh, Brian. Uh, now, just just to, just to give the, the people what they want, give them a little fanfare here. We get the uh, FTR Wardlow match. Uh, the point, uh, I even forgot who they fought. I was I started to set up the studio here. Yeah, they're... I, I wrote it down. Silas Young, Red, oh no, I got the Ren Jones, I think it was, and Vic Dupree or something like that. I don't know if I caught it right. Think, Vic, yeah, Vic Dupree. Yeah. Not Dupree. Dupree or... Uh... <laughs> it's, a, it's a quick little highlight reel of them. A little powerbomb symphony and... Uh... But poor Silas Young. What a waste of him. Again. What a waste. Yeah. Okay, did Underrated. a good job fighting the, uh, did a good job fighting the Bear Country on Dark instead. I preferred that match than Tamek. Well, your, your sure. boys, Claudio, got their name changed there, eh? I know. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah they did. Iron Savages. What are these? Yeah, the Iron Savages. The yeah. Iron Savages. Uh, they're coming on to. They're going to be on Dynamite, oh, and they're going to fight. Are they the... with Stokely Tooth? I think they're no, maybe. They're, with... No, there trust me. There was another guy named uh, JT. I think Anderson, something like that. He okay, cut damn it. He cut put him with Stokely. Off. The question yeah, is. I know, I know right? <laughs> the question is: Is uh, is uh, we're looking to uh, power bomb Sadnam or? Uh... Ooh. I think he's gonna have to. He's gonna have to try. No, yeah, he's, oh, he's gonna... not in the match. He's not in the match. Sandem's he's not in that match. No, he has to get him from the corner. That's the safest way to do it. Do not yeah. try, please. <laughs> from uh, the you know, he, he knows that a spine buster for him. I, that's what I feel. Well, yeah, it, it sure. is. It is a three man match, so it could be the easy. Both FTR guys well, help get him match, up. Though, Sandem, though. You know what I mean? Can Having be... the two guys help get him okay, up. Okay, yeah, he's not in the, the match. Wardle. It's true. It's the more machine guns. Yeah, uh, yeah exactly. And, uh, he's not in the match. But okay. if if they do a spot where he interferes, well, he's obviously going to be at ringside. It I'm would sure. be both men. Yeah, I yeah. believe both FTR helping Wardlow get him up for that big team. Yeah, they do like the shield style. A tandem power bomb there. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I picture this fact that you know this segment being the next shield, FTR and Wardlow. I kind of picture him being like a <laughs> shield, like Wardlow up, needs, up, Wardlow needs to be up, alone, up. not talk, shut come up. out and just beat people <laughs> up. FTR yeah. need a title shot. Uh, are they just to be in an interesting storyline that to, in in general, not even for a title, just being a good storyline because. Yeah. They're, Unless the they come AEW back. tag team title, I think it's like the biggest rib ever on FTR. It's like collect all the belts in the world yeah. except for the ones yeah, of the company that you work for. Yeah, exactly. And, and, <laughs> and we can't forget uh, Wardlow is uh, still the TNT champion. Uh, if any, anyone didn't uh, remember that, so uh, yeah, 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 yeah it's true. They're, they're, they're just true. keeping him. Oh. They're I giving him star oh, yeah. power via FTR right now until they figure out what they're going to do with him. Well, is... I think what they should have done more to make this trio uh, six man tag interesting is put. The Ring of Honor tag team titles and the TNT title on the line versus Jay right. Lethal and Motorcycle Machine Guns to make it interesting. Even though you already have a trios coming up, yep. the finals, but this could have been more intriguing. Like, okay, all right, this is going to be interesting to see Motorcycle Machine Guns fighting FTR for the Ring of Honor title. Even though we already seen Jay Lethal and Wardlow, but at least down the line, we might see at Ring of Honor FTR Motorcycle Machine Guns rematch. But this time, not in the six man, just tag team themselves, which I'm invested. I, I mean, I'm, I'm intrigued because I've been wanting to see that match between FTR and Motor City Machine Guns. Yeah, exactly. And I, it's, it's, I think it's with every single tag team. Like, every, everybody wants to see these great tag teams go against FTR because if they're saying they're the best tag team, okay. And you know what? When they wrestle, they, they show us that they are one of the top teams in the world right now. So why not put all the best teams against each other? But... I find there's no, there's like, I don't know, I, I like to be storyline driven too in this, but to me there's nothing going on here, but it's, it's, it's sad to see that, like you, like you said, there's, they have all the, they have all the titles and everything and they don't, they can't, they can't even get their hands on these AEW uh, tag team titles and, but you know, lo and behold, but what, it if, looks like if, it's a like shaft if, to them. If, it's like, if, if I know FTR and Jay Lethal, like I know I do, 
uh, they will be able to to the un to the un whatever uh, trained eye. Not untrained eye, but the un. We're seeing machine guns are a good tactic yeah, too. The, the, You'll, I don't know if you know them. Fans that don't really know Maybe what's is going there a match you could uh, 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 you could suggest, well, uh, uh, Alex? I just, uh, I just wanted to say uh, these teams will be able to put on a good match that tells a story in the ring without needing a big. Uh, outside but the why? Line. Why? That whatever. That's like whatever. Why is we saw why they kind of told us why these last couple of weeks we saw it. We have to re go down the whole lane. If you want, you can watch every AW Dynamite review we did, and you'll see why we talked about it on every show. But all I'm saying, these guys, just like we saw Dax and and uh, Jay Lethal last week, just tell a good in ring story. You know, like that's the art of wrestling. If you go to a show that someone dragged you to, you can still be interested in the match, and the yeah, match will tell it. you a little yeah, story right. within the match. That's what it's all about. Telling you a story in the match, not just doing a bunch of flip, 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 flip land on your head, cartwheel, jump the up. Stuff and, that you, uh, the and, stuff that you like, right? Uh, it, it's it's a different type of wrestling, but that's real wrestling is what Jay Lethal and Dax did last week and what, and what I believe they'll do in this match. Where it's like, if you just watch that match independently from Dynamite and just watch that match, I'm sure they will tell you a story in the match that, you know... You're invested. Flippity flop flop. Flippity flop flop. Flippity flop flop. And that's yeah. this is flippity flop flop. Well, we could flippity flop flop past the next segment because it just told us nothing. It's just another. Everyone go, go whatever. Just okay. What was that? What do you think it was? John Moxley comes to the ring and oh, okay, accepts okay. it. Whatever doesn't doesn't accept the challenge because he already accepted the challenge because he already wrote it in a segment earlier. So it just came out again. What did he tell us, Claudio? He's bad. He's violent. He's gonna induce violence. He's gonna. Yeah. Pro there, will there, there will be yes. blood. There, there will be blood. Whatever he said. Yeah. And, and, juice and, and sure. whatever. There, there, go, there goes another copy. Co control Alt C. Control Alt V. Right there of a Moxley promo. Bad, bad, violent, bad violence. I'm, gonna, I'm the best. I'm the baddest. I'll show you why. I'm the greatest. Peace. Yeah. Enter. <laughs> Next. Uh, let's continue the show with stuff that actually tells a story here, which is uh, we find out the ten. Of Dark Order is injured. Oh my God! Oh my God! That that I segment that, that segment was hilarious. Oh my! God. Is he God. legit injured or is the storyline injured? Because oh, storyline. Story line. Okay, yeah. I'll just yeah. say because it, it works out too perfect. This one. So, well, he got is, <laughs> I'm right quick on this one. <laughs> What's that, Ivan? <laughs> He he was legitimately injured. He just came back from that knee injury. Okay. But he's okay. Selling, he's selling it. I we okay. already I already knew this all damn time that it was gonna happen. It was gonna come to that route. Once you saw Dark Order on the other side of the bracket, and of course the Bucks and Kenny Omega, Whoa. it's gonna yeah. It was it was inevitable. It was inevitable. They couldn't so they couldn't wait for the crowd pop at the thing and leave us in limbo to who's gonna be their fan. Even if we knew it was gonna be Anna Page, no, they had to do it. Before the main event, it just <laughs> right away tells us who's gonna win the main event. Like why didn't by, why didn't Evil Luno replace him? By, though? By, well, because he's injured. <laughs> he got, but he's then, injured. He's injured. He was fighting in Montreal a couple weeks ago. He's tasered, bro. He's tasered. He's <laughs> he fought injured. in Montreal, Evil Luno. No, as of as of two hours ago, he's injured. He got tasered. He's out. <laughs> You just, yeah. see, you just see, yeah, bro, that taser man, yeah, like exactly. you know what, like, I, but you know what, I wasn't sure, I wasn't Jose sure when he got tasered. Was dude. that was that a tribute to the Jacques Rougeau with the the taser, or maybe, maybe with the pro? <laughs> I think we still have it here. When Jacques, when Jacques came, he left it. But here. we all know what's happening, right? Like we all know that it's yeah. gonna be Dark Order versus the Elite, right, in the final. Yeah, but like I'm, I was, I was just gonna say, do you guys not find that okay? We kind of felt that that they have to give us the promo of Adam Page accepting yes. it. Did they have to give it to us on Dynamite? Could they not just give us well, the old school to, wrestling? They, they Who's going to be their third man and drop that? I, mean, I love Adam Page's You already Page's have that music. with the Joker. You already have a mystery yeah. person with the Joker. You're going to have another mystery yeah, but, yeah, person. Yeah, but no, but this is, just say, this is not that mystery. This is like how Kenny Omega was a mystery person two weeks ago. Like he was a mystery person, but we knew it was him. At least let us have that, you know. The you just want to hear the, the pop. He was yes, gonna get. that's, that's what, what wrestling is. Yeah. You, the art of, yeah, you know, the art the of way the pop. You know? get it. I don't think it was gonna. Yeah, like, yeah but at least at it, it, you could lose yourself in the storyline. Who's it gonna oh. be? The Dark Order, uh, the John Silver, and uh, I always forget his name. And God bless Alex him. Reynolds, Alex, Alex Reynolds. Reynolds. I love that. They're great. Uh, who's gonna tell? They're willing to go in themselves. Like you, you even let them go in for the first minute by themselves and look like they're gonna do the match handicapped and. Boom, drop the Adam Page music. Come on. Yes, man. Are you kidding me? It's called wrestling. Oh, God. It's the art. I was, with you. I was with you for a minute, Bruno, because it doesn't make sense. I mean, they should have waited on Rampage tomorrow to be on or Friday. That, to do it. Or that. Yeah, yeah, they should have waited. Some, okay. Yeah. Content got hurt. 
oh, who's going to replace him? And well, you don't, maybe you don't want to take away from the actual surprise of the, the Joker. Maybe the Joker's an actual big deal. That's why you don't want to you don't want to overshadow oh, it. You're talking about a company another... that they had like three brand new. Like the night Adam Cole came back, there wasn't like three. That's obviously not a concern for them <laughs> to have one big pop that night, and it's not even a big it's okay. reveal. It's a, it's Don't worry, because I hope you're gonna be watching that match. Because when it's Dark Order versus the Elite, Dark Order is winning that match. You I know why? Hope so. Because if, you know that who's thought, coming if, back if Dark Order to to, to to screw over fucking uh, the the Elite, the Undisputed Era. The undisputed My era. boy Adam Cole. Baby is going to screw over right, right. Kenny Omega. Ooh. Dark Order oh. wins the trio's titles. Here we go with a program with the Undisputed Era and the Elite. My boy, Adam Cole, baby, is and back. He'll be back on Sunday. I can guarantee you that. Well, let's see. Maybe. Great <laughs> Ho- well, hopefully, they, you know, we hopefully. We haven't seen a, them in a while. I'm sure that's. I hope he had a little time, hit the gym there, maybe put like an extra five pounds on that dumbbell. Talking to me, fuck. That'll maybe may put fucking have a little. That creep. should, you that should little, be Hook doing that, not Adam no, Cole. No, no, no. Oh, Hook oh, doesn't oh, need oh, to do oh, it because Hook does wrestling moves and proves that he knows how to wrestle. He's not his father. The no, same, no, the same right. for he's fucking every match. Hook, Hook performs athletic sell. wrestling moves. He doesn't do things I could do to Frank in my living room right here, which is things I used to do as a 12-year-old kid in the schoolyard. The four super fucking kick, same moves. Kick, he doesn't, he doesn't kick, sell the other guy's kick moves. Run you in the back of the head. Run can't work, can't the cut a promo if his life depended on it. He's, you're, okay. to slap your leg, you know what? Huh? Eventually, all, you'll be exposed. Hell, hook. So I'm going to be waiting here patiently for it. We we had a comparison off air, and I won't make it on air, but. You guys, as haters, are taking someone that you're calling inferior and comparing him to someone that you're calling superior. You no, no, you're the one who commented. I didn't say. I, I'm watching the show. You're the you one guys who brought up Hook just now. Just now. No, no, I said. He, I lie. just said. <laughs> hopefully, he hit the gym. You guys said like Hook. You guys, I didn't bring up Hook right now. You can rewind the day the that tape. Hook goes oh, over on uh, Hooker on Adam Cole. Rewind, rewind, uh, rewind this tape. I did not bring up Hook just now. I said hopefully Adam Cole oh, took the time. A while back. A while back. You oh, did. baby. Baby. Oh, yeah. Baby. Yeah, yeah. And a lot of people, you can check the comment section, echo. Well, that's, you know say. what? Like I said, but again, eventually he's, he's going to have to he's wrestle in the real same wrestlers. Conversation. He's already... Steps ahead. It's like the it's like the age. it's like the video game. You have to go through everybody to get to the top. So let's see when he gets to that certain uh, position. And he's gonna have to fight these huh. these re- these Trust actual me. wrestlers that when it comes they're gonna expose him because he can't fight everybody because he doesn't have the skills to do it. That's why he's only doing two three minute matches. He's walking around with an idiot like, like fucking Danhausen. So clip come this, on, clip this gentleman uh, and, cl- and, 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 and clip that <laughs> famous article that was floating around social media this week and. You guys and someone else will be proven wrong, wrong uh, with, in the future when we look back on this week in history and, and Joe Full in the Ring. That, uh, write it down. 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 Yeah. People Where will be proven wrong. <laughs> but there's going to be there's gonna be haters and everything, Bruno. It's, it, it, the truth always comes out in the but end. But people so. hate... When they everyone's see, allowed to give their hate, opinion in the people end. People hate when they see great. Well, isn't that what Joe Force has though? Joe Force just stop fucking exactly. opinion in the end. You know, exactly. And, and again, you guys <laughs> decided it. to compare Hook to Adam Cole, and uh, you know, I understand when when you see someone up on the rise like that. Fucking, I'm <laughs> cool, on, cool on Angie. Better put, get the job done or else. I'm, that's it. <laughs> I know. That's it. We're gonna have to have a talk with Matty Viviani there. And then. From there, I believe my notes conclude, and that brings us to the main event. <laughs> my notes conclude. You just didn't want to no, fucking put notes for the last match. Just speak, speaking of flippy wrestlers, you must have hated the next two matches. Then <laughs> exactly oh, what right. my notes concluded. Well, <laughs> what was the next two matches here? Continue. Well, for me. Okay, sure. We had the well, I guess fatal four way match, the preview for the casino battle royale match at the, or casino ladder match. Sorry, too many casino matches at all out. It was Dante Martin versus Rouge versus Ray Phoenix and Wheeler Yuta, which Wheeler Yuta got the win with the seatbelt uh, pin that he usually does. I don't care what you say. It was a fun match, Bruno. It was doesn't great. matter. It was great. It was great. But you know what? You know yeah, what? You know what? Good action. The, 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 all these guys are Good very preview. interesting. But it was guys, right. They all really get me. It was right. Matches, it was right before sure. the main event that had almost a, 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 a identical moves in it. Right. That's. So that's <laughs> Like that's oh, see, like I, I could see that point. Dude, the dude, art of wrestling sure. is the in-ring story. No, it's not how crazy. Keep could keep you the be? keep the good stuff for the, for the mm. main event. If you're if you're if a guy that Dante, like Dante Martin, not to get any way for the guy, but if he's doing stuff that that uh, that uh, Will Osprey is doing in the main event, what is it? 
What is it? It, take, it takes away from Will Ospreay in the end because everyone came, obviously, to see Will Ospreay, not fucking Dante Martin. And uh, like like I said, not to take anything away from the guys. It was a, it was a fun match, but... I don't. Yeah. Maybe it could have been on. Maybe right off, right off the bat at the beginning of the show, just to let yeah, you forget about that. if you forget it's about it show. happening, exactly. because it was kind of like the same. Like it, I don't know. That's just me. This, I know. No, I'm exactly. like, Bruno right. hated. Bruno stopped taking notes with those last two matches. So you know, he, he hated. He hated those matches. He's MIA now. Where is he? I mean, the, the thing for me is like adding. Why add Roosh to that? That's what I'm like. He's yeah, not, exactly. He's, that's that's what I was. Yeah, it threw me off. For why you adding mm -hmm. Rusev? I mean, he does not, you know, relate to these high flyers. Like, no. come on now, it, at all. No, he should. He he should have just, just been. Yeah, for what? Like, yeah. he didn't do much. I mean, wow, one or two, three moves. Everybody else was just getting their highlights. Like, or, or maybe stop, give stop us some, it. maybe some, give us some kind of like dissension and saying like he screwed over with Yuta, so maybe you could start a little program with him in the future. But because there was no yeah. like, there was nothing that happened in the match that will prolong anything going forward. It was just. Go out there and entertain for for. It was just a filler, pretty much. Yeah, this is yeah. Not yeah. yeah. Headed to the, to the main event. I think Basically. it was too good of a filler for for what came after. That's that's what I'm trying to say, or in, in a sense, because I don't think it, it it needed to be that flashy and and let's go crazy um, excitement like that because. We knew we were going to get that in the main event, and that's what we got, right? So I it's think it's kind of like Moxie bleeding in the first match, knowing the, the <laughs> blood in the, the main, main event is going to be a very big part of the storyline. I don't know. Yeah. I think it just, I, I just I think it takes away to... from the guys in the main event. Uh, that's well, just me. A lot well, of people tell me that too. Like, I'm not going to do a fucking yeah. uh, um, uh, Macho Man elbow uh, yeah. in my match, knowing that Macho Man is in the main event. Exactly. It's, if it's... you look at the basics, yeah. it was like if a guy does a simple thing like a leg drop, another guy wouldn't do it in the show. Now they're taking these really cool, crazy-looking moves, and they're just all doing them. They're, they just take away from each other. Every time. You know? Like, if I'm going to do the crazy acai, whatever, freaking yeah. moonsault, like, don't do it in your match, and you do another one, like, an inverted style. Like, th you know what I mean? Like, I don't, I, whatever. But I was going to say, uh, you, I was peeing, and you, you kind of put words in my mouth here. And uh, I do not hate, and I didn't hate these matches. Um, all I'm saying is that they're just not... Interesting to me. They don't that's, interest me. That's There's what nothing... I said after. I know how like, I, I don't know what hate kind of them. Matches I, you, you I, like, I, like, like the guy says in the sign, I just enjoy wrestling. That guy that was ringside uh, yeah. is in our thumbnail up there. Just enjoy wrestling. Like, I, that's the thing. Like, like we always say, okay, these last two segments just aren't my thing. But also, I, I feel that there's going to be a time when it runs its course because, again, like you said, why. But well, Osprey's cool. He's great. He does for his flippity flippity flips. He it's his own, and he does a very cool modified shit, kind of like Ray Phoenix. That's why they stand out. They stand out. But you, where's the build? Like, what 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 is interesting about these guys in this match? Like, I'm not a Twitter fan. I'm not a fan of uh, what everyone liked in Japan. I'm a fan of AEW Dynamite. I've been watching it every week, and Will Osprey to me. The hype that I hear compared to what I see on TV is, uh, he's a good he's a good athlete. You know what I mean? But what's interesting, like f the guys that don't look badass, don't look like you want people tough, to get like, 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 you get intimidated. Them, you and... see through like you don't see a tough fighter when you look at him. At these guys, not him, but like, you see just very good flippity flip athletes and. Again, it's just not my wrestling. Less moves, so uh, less I will not moves be the one. More, to, I will uh... not be the one to narrate and take us through the ending match. I'll leave that to uh, Alex here. Alex, oh, let's, let's sure. kick us off because I again for the fans out there, for the fans, not for me, as we do this show. Uh, kick us off sure, here. So... We, we get what everybody wants to see around the world here. A big match. We get yeah. In our main event tonight, we had the semifinals of the AEW Trios tournament. For the left side of the bracket, we had United Empire, Will Ospreay, and Aussie Open against the Elite, Kenny Omega, and the Young Bucks. Crazy match, as to be expected. Just before commenting on the match, there's something that I think becomes painfully obvious now when watching the show and seeing by, by the time the main event came, is that the storyline that they're doing with Kenny Omega, did he come back too soon for the injury, is just way too similar to what they're doing with Punk and Moxley. Like, did you really have to do the same storyline with a re returning top star coming back from an injury too soon? It just clouds both of the angles, I find. So just make up your mind which one you wanted to have to focus it on. I think 
I don't even think it needed to be in the Punk storyline, honestly, because you had it perfectly set up with Omega being out yeah. 10, 11 months or whatever it was with a million surgeries and, you know, how many hours it was of rehab more believable doing. With, with Omega than, than Punk. Yeah, right. just leave it away from yeah. Punk. Do you, yeah, was, and, do you think they were missing for Omega a la Triple H back in the day was a good uh, music video promo packet yes. like the beautiful remember, day remember, we needed <laughs> yeah, that one I, I'm also didn't wasn't there another one with Creed my sacrifice uh, everyone got one, one of those yeah uh, everyone my sacrifice. <laughs> everybody got one of those <laughs> yeah but I, I don't know for some reason there's oh, something yeah. about uh, uh, Triple H stands out to me but yeah yeah exactly yeah, well, he, he had you too no, Triple H had you too <laughs> that's yeah. the one where they do the whole like they zoom in on his knee there and he goes yes, into the yes, thing or even they, a they or show in the, in the beautiful hospital. day he can put that one too <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah totally he's a licensing on kind of TV why couldn't they give Omega a good returning music video promo yeah package? sure he, Tony Khan spends money on like songs at, all the time so why not he could just License show another my, song for a week. He doesn't know how to do promos. He doesn't know how to do vignettes. He don't know how to do returns. They're working on it. People. They, you know what I Barely, heard? little we by do, little. Yeah, we've been documenting. You know it. <laughs> They've been working on it. We can't hate on them too much. Yeah, but, but they're hearing us. I know. You heard Frank earlier. <laughs> Introduce me to Hikaru Shida. Who is she? Why is she carrying that belt? Uh, you heard Frank say that earlier. Shida? He needs to explain it. She oh yeah, okay. Yes, yeah, when okay. people come out with these these strange belts well, that nobody knows we, about, at least we know who she is. Belt. If you've been watching, no, because it, just is, what is the belt? Because you have you have to you have to you have to portray the, the the show that someone's watching for the first time. And how are you gonna suck that person in to watch again? Because if if their 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 um their narrative is oh the uh it, the the women's champion is not here. There's gonna be a match uh, this Sunday. Oh, okay. Then you see one of the the one of these these four women are going to be in the match. Well, that why does that girl have a belt for? That's not yeah. the belt they're talking. Like well, you know what I mean? Like, I'm sure there's people like that. Uh, the wrestling Delorean podcast in the chat agrees and echoes what we're saying here. They need yeah. to do a little uh, better job yeah, uh, at, at, at the same time. Though, or just don't bring it out, fuck. I don't know, man. Like no, uh, yeah, that, that's <laughs> an even better opinion. Yeah, don't bring it out. I agree. Just don't bring it out, fuck. Actually. I can know but you want to show me. off and tell people that like, we have all the all the champions in your promotion, but. Oh, yeah. We're yeah, in the arrow. We could buy them for for the two fifty, three hundred. Be a good question. You ask somebody. Uh, <laughs> name name every single fucking championship in AEW. For, Frank is the AEW <laughs> and the <laughs> WWF Winged Eagle There's champion right now. <laughs> right, now, he's, he's a double champion. No man, it just sometimes <laughs> things like that. They just they, it irritates me, man. Like I don't know, it, just, it has sometimes it, it just you have you have to make it simple, like make it fucking easier for for us to understand even to us that we still we know and we we know things have happened we've been through it been, been there done that but you got to play for the for the for the idiots out there too like that or the people that are watching for the first time but how do we get on this how do we how do we, people? How, do we like, how do we leave this match and talk about Hikaru Shida and explaining his storyline cuz we're talking about the belts and everything and it's like yeah, the, the, the Aussie Open came Omega. out with belts too oh, okay, right okay that's how we get to okay yeah, yeah. Japan just, strong and we, we got you have like the Rev Pro yeah, Will yeah, Osprey yeah. Red, well New Japan strong titles for Aussie Open but uh well, you know, just we're saying that Kenny Omega should have like gotten a video package they don't know him to show that he's a big deal he's a champion somewhere I'm not saying it in a, in a dissing way. I'm at least just like they, they talk about commentary, how big this match is. Uh, they're from uh, another company. They're coming with belts. I, you know, but like at least there's a reason that. why they do the pay per views in the same cities every single time. It's, 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 it's oh. you know what I mean, it's, it's an easy Bring fucking... that pay per view to got... MTL, baby. Montreal. Montreal, please stop, stop running Chicago for God's sake, AEW. I'm going to say. Like stop running it like three four days in a row like it's every e two it's months. It's easy. Come that's on. what it is. It's easy. It's it's. But, well, but that's the problem. We, we, like we, I felt we, like last year all, they didn't build. They, for, yeah, they didn't build off their momentum of Arthur yeah. Ashe Stadium that they had huge shows. They kept going the same markets or similar markets. Like uh, the momentum they had from last year, like you could have, you know. Well, then injuries yeah. happen. You know, the things happen yeah, that are out of our hands too, right? That's Alex. If you further details of that, we already know. It's all the athletic commission. It's all the state commissions. Yeah. It, yeah. It, it comes down to that. Yeah. Either you want to pay fines or you do not want to pay a fine. You see what happened to them when they got in trouble with Maryland. Now they stopped running in the state of Maryland because of what happened with that Moxie and Kenny Omega barbed wire, you know, matchup. They got they got fined for it. And you I'm, had to I'm, pay. What happened? Oh wow. And I'm sure I'm sure like even even to the point where like let's say they want to go to a place and they're like okay like oh but WWE comes here. You know, you don't want to yeah. you don't want to sever ties with WWE and saying, oh, we brought yeah. in AEW yeah, now. That's, still, that's, yeah. it's, there, there might be that if, too, but by the way, by the way, now that AEW, if uh, when AEW comes to Montreal, because uh, WWE already has Plaza Bell and the Bell Center, where else can they perform? First of all, 
They better go to the Bell Center because we didn't talk about this at the beginning of the show because we were so pumped about the the big victories at Wrestling Academy. But Jesus effing Christ, uh, the tickets for AEW Dynamite Toronto, even before they went and sailed to general public, because it's in a smaller venue, not even in like the big arena that, where the Maple Leafs play. Like the day they went on sale to the general public, almost all the tickets were already on resale by authentic, like authentic resellers on Ticketmaster. So there, if you wanted like, the shittiest seats in the house that morning, like I was checking at work, I told my boss, I'm 9:45, I'm taking a break, I'm buying tickets. I go on, I'm like, I don't, I'm gonna spend a little bit, but I don't care, you know. But like 250, not even like for the shittiest seats in the house. Shittiest. Shittiest. They're seeing what the market is. They Freak, haven't been man. to Canada yet. So now, yeah, now they're but, now they see yeah, what the market's yeah, know, all about. But Maybe man. they'll come to but, but the But they, they did a pre-sale. The thing about it is they did a pre-sale. I, I don't know how you become part of the pre-sale. Because that morning, like I already saw on Twitter people like on the hashtag, like, well, I was pumped to get tickets today, but I'm already seeing uh after the pre-sales what they're going for, and that almost all the seats are taken. I was like depressed already. Now more than ever, we need those press passes is all I was getting at. Tony Khan. <laughs> Shut up. Press passes or uh, I'm gonna invest, we're going to invest in this fucking shit. I'm going to have to go. AW Toronto is going to cost us the amount of going. I'm like a 12-year-old kid. Going, kid no, but you, no, you said it. AW, <laughs> going to AW Toronto is just as expensive as us going to All Out all weekend. Yeah, it would have been, <laughs> been less to fucking buy uh, Dynamite, Rampage, and All Out together. It the, combo. Co- the, the combo and it's more expensive and, and to go to play, Toronto and plane tickets. And that, one, that one fucking that one event it's, it's crazy fuck it doesn't make sense but it's by like hook, you're giving the tickets away in Chicago fuck by hook or by crook Jeremy Prophet Jessica Black will be there and by gun we will be there so stay tuned to that we're gonna have some fun but yeah let's get back to this match I noticed we, uh, we didn't get past uh, the entrance this Os- year. Osprey Osprey didn't get uh, pinned which was a, which was a good uh, good decision because yeah. you don't want that to happen Fletcher. So, but um, what, yeah. st- what stood out to everyone in this match? The flippity flips. <laughs> I, I think, like, just like the. Oh, sorry. I'm just gonna say quickly no, the, no, the no, first, no, first hashtag minute press or passes, two. The Lorraine podcast knows <laughs> the first few minutes of Omega and Osprey. It's clear that these ty- these guys have chemistry, like incredible. So, like, I know this is not your style of wrestling, Bruno, but like for me, I do enjoy it, and I enjoy lots of styles. This happens to be one of it. Oh, yeah. Just like the interaction that they had even though they didn't have very much at the beginning, was just enough to be like, yes. I have to watch the rest of this match. To see if it's going to happen, right? Yeah. yeah, like, what else they're going to do? Like, just, they're, they're so good together. I think that the, the uh, and even there was an amazing spot to me that was uh, when Kenny Omega was doing the Snapdragon suplexes to everyone, and then Osprey reversed it, landed on his feet, and then he did the, uh, the Sasuke dive, I forgot what he calls it, yeah. Spaceman, whatever. And then uh, Omega got like got all the way. Osprey landed on his feet and gave him a Snapdragon on the outside. So, yeah, really cool love stuff it. there. Awesome, love that. Too many like spots to me. Today. Great New Japan Strong Style between them. That's what it reminds me of, and that's my cup of tea. I like, I love Strong Style, and yeah. that's what they have. They they have that chemistry, and you know, all this time everybody thought you know this was a legitimized feud between them because you know they had that social media war on Twitter. But no, I mean. This was, I mean, they worked us, so I kudos to them. And then, not to mention what happened in the aftermath, the after off the air, they showed the, uh, you know, United Empire attacking them, and Will Osprey putting a chair on Omega, and he was ready to go ahead and give him, obviously, yeah, the, really? the hidden blade. And then, uh, of course, uh, I think it was Matt or Nick, I think they made the save and super kick, then I guess they did a comeback, and the show ended like that, just pretty much them coming back. That was three. The off the air. Somebody was actually playing it on Instagram Live. That's why I, I caught on to it. Like, okay, oh, really? wow. now I'm seeing it. Oh, yeah, check that out. So, okay, yeah, and uh, but overall, this match was fantastic. I, I, I mean, you got to give it. I mean, I know Bruno, you don't like Osprey, but man, that's why you got to watch our we'll Tuesday see. Shows. Listen, gentlemen, yeah, he has I, a story. He has okay, a story. Yes. Listen, story. I, like I said going into it, the people that like this and are really pumped for it are the people that have been following this outside of Dynamite and on Twitter. Which I whatever I'm not against because I'm a big fan for using now in the social media era, social media to actually build matches and not expose the business. So kudos to that. But the real question to really see where this gentleman stands and is he believable? The people are actually excited about it is when this this elite and and them is all said and done and they finally settle this Omega and Osprey dream match. Blah blah blah. 
will he still be able to keep people interested in his stuff? Yes. But we'll see. Yes. We'll yes. see. We'll see. Yes. We'll see. You guys are all very confident. We'll see. And that's going to really be uh, the the proof. You know what I mean? Like, are people still interested? Could he really still get people interested? Like, and um, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Because we're here in North America and not Twitter. This is AW Dynamite on Wednesday nights. So we'll see. We'll see. You just ate these. Wardle, yeah. no. Wardle, was, Twitter, over like Wardle, was, Wardle was over like crazy. Wardle was Wardle was over like crazy. And the next storyline, they fucked it up. So I'm just yeah, saying. But Wardle will never get But a fucking... really good, a really good wrestler has three things. Yeah, I know. He looks the part. Bruno, he looks the part, plays the part, and like, talks the part. Wardlow and Osprey, man. like, come on. Osprey like, has so done we'll this. see. We'll see. This man but it doesn't look the part. Over 20 really matches. But it looks like a kid. Like he looks like a little kid exactly. that like, you, you exactly. talk to you at the bar and, okay, get the fuck out of my face. And let's, you know what I mean? It doesn't uh, look like, uh, oh my God, look at this. Look at this fucking bitter, badass. Bitter, 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 bitter. 2022. Like, yeah, not 2022. So what? We're going to degenerate the fucking business and not make them look like badass fucking athletes that could kick each other's ass? No. Not everybody has to be like that, though, Bruno. But it's fucking fighting. Go back to watch UFC. When you watch watch UFC, do the guys look like they're fucking training athletes, training to go to battle? Yes. Get it? Did you watch? So like, you're playing just, the part of the Hulk. You're playing favor. the part of the Hulk. Lou Ferrigno had to look the part in order to sell you that he is the part. So he had to be jacked. So you're playing a fucking. So wait, you for want me, fucking? I'm you want everybody me. to look like Hulk Hogan and fucking what? Exactly. And everyone, it's, it's just the same fucking thing every time. You have to have yeah, diversity. Generic. You have to have we'll fucking see, different. We'll see if when the Omega and the Twitter and the nostalgia. It was nice to have the cruiserweight uh, the champions. We'll uh, see cruiserweight what division. happens. And that's what it is. You have to have different fucking sizes, different yeah. fucking characters. They, We'll see you know what, what I mean? happens. We'll see what happens. Yeah. It's all the same, someone, guys. Don't get so mad. You want to look like Hulk Hogan, and you're a fan of Hulk, huh? You I'm go. telling you right now, <laughs> there will not be. People will still be talking about Hulk Hogan long after they'll be talking about Will Ospreay. So you guys can say what you want. You guys can say what you want. They made action figures of a guy who looked like an action figure in his time. This we can make an action figure of this guy. Yeah, but all they're gonna take is a fucking uh, different groups a of people that, that'll take a Will Ospreay over a Hulk Hogan. <laughs> And vice versa. That's Dude, why. How that's are you why putting Will Ospreay in the same category? Well, you're, 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 you're gonna deny someone's their fucking opinion in the end. Just our fucking opinions. The name of our show. You're gonna tell them no, no, your opinion is fucking. You're gonna discredit. Only your opinion you're, is right. You're gonna discredit. Only your net. opinion is right. You're gonna discredit our network if you're fucking putting Will Ospreay in the same legend status as Hulk Hogan. <sighs> Come on. Come on. I know you guys love him and you want to really hate, shit on me for not enjoying his work. I understand, but he's definitely not Hulk Hogan level. Come on, please, someone. It's not even a fair comparison, honestly. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? It's a, it's an impossible comparison. I know you, know, you put like, you put him yeah. up there like fucking uh, I don't know Lan- Lance Storm, That's it, yeah. Dean Malenko. You know what I mean? Really good uh, athletes, you know, but they were good when they were paired up with someone that could sell. And that's we'll see if oh, will Osprey after this big. I'm friends with the Young Bucks and Kenny Omega and. We do the whole Twitter thing, and everyone looks our ass because we're so we're this all oh, oh, it's of underground course. stuff from the New Japan. Mm. We'll see when that's done if people could, if he could get people Sound interested like MJF. in this stuff. Uh, oh, you marks that watch. Yes, Japan. exactly. Because yeah, MJF comes marks. out and he tells you the story in his promo and in his match on the show. He doesn't oh, fucking. I, I, he calls he you an idiot for watching wrestling. the show and liking that's the wrestling. show. Basically. He's right? making you hate but him. Bruno, it's a heel, this man. Is this That's is the called world a heel. And in. what he did right there is called a heel. Making Whatever you believe you, it's real. It, everyone can't fucking yes. agree with you he on everything. everything he, people are not going to agree saying, with you. See that? You see how he entices again? Like, he entices. You know what I'm going to suggest? Ever since that MJF promo, now people, I think more than ever, think AEW is not cool. Well, no shit. When you basically said that the, the one who runs the company is a freaking mark. And this company is shit. I hate working for it. Well, no, no shit. Maybe, it was, you maybe, maybe you know what? Stupid. Then maybe it was fucking real. What you were saying in the end, you will never know. And if he does come back, then I guess it but was all for nothing. We're shoot. Him. I mean, the, the point it doesn't matter. It's like, why are you gonna bash the company? Up until you... he, up until he comes back. Uh, for me, it was that was all real that came out of his mouth. But when he does, I, then uh, I'll contemplate it because like, <laughs> you were. Yeah, but AEW is not cool anymore because MGF says it's a dump and it's a stupid place to work. You know. I don't think that whole thing you worked. Hate his either. guts, right? Yeah. If you see him against Will Ospreay, who's going to sell that match? Ospreay or MJF? It's going to be MJF that sells the match because you want to see him lose. Or maybe it'll be Dave see? Meltzer. I don't know. See what I'm was. talking about? See? <laughs> you guys want to see your favorite little... Adam Cole against MJF. Who are you going to want to win? Adam Cole, why? Because you hate MJF. Who sold that match? MJF. 
See where I'm going with that? Okay, Bruno. Yeah, we, you, you're, you're right. You're right. Yeah. yeah, everybody, everybody. Yes, Bruno. Yeah. 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 Bruno, yeah. Yes, yes. You're right. You're absolutely right, Bruno. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know what I was thinking. We know nothing about pro wrestling. You're right. I'm wrong. That's the. As we say here in, in Quebec, it's we will see. We'll see, as a, a smart man once said. But now, speaking of smart men, Let's talk about let's before we wrap it up. Let's give a little get on the record here. Um, what Claudio, poor guy, I haven't heard from you in a while. You want to talk about predictions? Let's get to the predictions here for all out. Uh, I'm gonna pull up the uh, oh, main event 25 match card, right? Yeah, so uh, <laughs> let's start with the ones we know here. Frank, kick it off. Let's start with the main event. Let's get it out of the way here. Okay. I'll, I'll pull it up officially. John Moxie better win that, better win that match. I'll tell you that, that much right there. Yeah, so we do like last time what you think is going to happen, and then uh, what you think is going to happen, and then what you Just want run it to down. Happen. John Moxley. No, and remember, no, if you want to say something, you no, say but, something. No, but not, remember whatever. last time we kind of did it like, I want this to happen, but I think this is going to happen. You know what I mean? So what do you want to happen? I'll just agree with you, Bruno. No, I'm saying, remember we did, we went around the table, we said we have to give what we think will happen for the storyline, but what we, is that what we really want to happen? Okay. So, the Moxley and Moxley. Okay, so there you go. There you go. <laughs> Very That's what I'm saying. Me. That's exactly what we did last time. Is it, Ivan? You better win. What do you think is going to happen? And is that what you want to happen? I just need Moxley to win. I do not want to see Punk because all of this build up was for. But that's, okay, time. that's what you want. But is that what you think is going to happen? Reality, we know it's not. Okay. We so, know it's not. Okay, so you're going with. You in your heart, he wants Moxie, yeah, exactly. and, 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 yeah, and that, on yeah, paper. Yeah. That's the answer I want. That's the type of answer I want here. See, at AW Dynamite Review, we don't just ask the basic question. We go the extra step. <laughs> Alex. Screw you. <laughs> yeah, go. I, I guess it's similar. Yeah, I think CM Punk's going to win. But I'll put it this way. Even though I technically do want Moxie to win, I say just let CM Punk win, get his fucking title reign over with, so then he doesn't have to win it again. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Here, here, here's the belt. Shut up, fucking. It's kind of like what yeah, I said with up. Adam Cole's uh, Ed Owen Hart run in the tournament there. Okay, let's get the tournament fuck. over. Fuck, let's get Adam the... Cole, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so um, I... Yeah, but CM Punk's CM Punk. I, honestly, I don't know why, but I was going into it going Punk, Punk, both, but I think I'm going a bit against the green here. I want Punk to win, but I think he's going to do the, like you guys said, and maybe fuck with everyone's head because he's good at that shit and lose. Yeah. I don't know. The thing about turning heel, that's the thing I'm not sure about, how that'll happen. But he might just take a loss and maybe get fucked. Maybe he might get fucked by MJF now. I was thinking about it. You guys are saying MJF might make an appearance. Maybe he might get fucked by MJF and lose. But then we'll propel him into a storyline that doesn't need the belt. Uh, again, will bring MJF in the storyline. Well, I can think something belt. right now. If you don't see MJF uh, be the Joker, then there's a good chance he might interfere. But I don't know. It's just I, I, I think, think that I, I he doesn't think MJF, have to show up. I don't think I, MJF would show up as a Joker in a seven man match. I don't he, think he has to show up. At he'll all. show up as something that's more a little like centered on him. The and dynamite and, after he comes yeah. out and whatever, but it, whatever. Whatever. Uh, we'll see. Claudio. Uh, Claudio. What do you want to happen? Know. What do you think is going to happen? I uh, what I want to happen is CM Punk win with MGF coming out of nowhere and helping uh, Punk to win, uh, and then after that MGF is gonna screw over Punk because that storyline is still not finished in my opinion. But I also want Moxley to win. Okay. All right. All right. So, so there you have it. There you have it. Yeah. There, there you have it. So let's, let's let's go. Let's get a little quicker on this. Let's go. Ricky Starks, Will Hobbs, Frank. Uh, I think Powerhouse Hobbs has to take that. Uh... I think he has a lot more to lose than Ricky Starks. Ricky Starks is good. I think he could take an L. And really? Still, and yeah, I think so. Interesting. So I think Powerhouse Hobbs across the board. House, uh, Hobbs across the board. Ivan? I think Ricky, he needs to get a, that build up. He needs a moment of shine. It's his time now. Yeah. And it doesn't hurt It doesn't hurt either way. Hobbs either for losing. If yeah. they're at the end, both of them. So might as well. I, I choose Ricky Starks. Good point, man. Ricky Starks. Alex? Is that is that I both, I, Ivan? Is that both? Like you think he's gonna win, and you want him to win? Yeah. Okay, go, Alex. Yeah, I, I choose Ricky Starks as well because I think, just briefly, in the world of pro wrestling, if you're a babyface and you lose, you're a loser. That's the way like it comes across. Especially since Ricky Starks just like, you know, starting yeah. his face turn right now. I think he needs the momentum to like not, you know, 
put I wouldn't want to say put the story to rest, but like overcome the story, like overcome yeah, exactly. Will yeah, Hobbs the, and yeah, the and achieve this, overcoming you know? the yeah. big bad, the, the odds, the yeah, insurmountable object. So uh, Ricky Starks both, I'm going with Claudio. Kind of hard. I'm not really following them, so I don't know who's gonna uh, win and Who's what. So dark, dark <laughs> all the matches. The big match. <laughs> the big match. yeah. Claudio's our dark match specialist here on AW Dynamite. So uh, he's yeah. a no. I'm gonna go Starks. Starks. Let's go with Wardlow, FTR uh, versus Lethal and Motor City. Uh, there's nothing going on. Wardlow. 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 Yeah. Wardlow. 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 Wardlow's yeah. gonna we'll do the competitive simply power bombs, and there we go. And, we call it that. It, that 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 I bet you if I'm if I'm wrong it's gonna be on the uh on a seven PM on the uh oh my what's that word? Zero hour. Hour. No the no it's, it's not though. It's on the main show. It's on the uh, is it? Yeah, yeah it's is it because be- I'm not gonna okay. put a fucking FDR on the pre show. Come on, I know they're really fucking with them, but not to that level. Uh, <laughs> Ivan, go I mean got FTR Warlow. Yeah but I don't I don't think yeah. Motor City Machine Guns should have taken the fall. It should have been Jay Lethal because we, we won more between the machine guns and FTR yeah. in Ring of Honor later on. Good call that. So. There you go. Alex? Oh, no. Maybe Fat Hardy's going to come out of Hornets. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to go FTR and Wardlow too because, I mean, Lethal and machine guns, are, they're not a real team. I know Wardlow and FTR are, but they're all champions. They have a million belts. So if you have a million belts with you, you shouldn't lose. True. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Uh, this one, I agree with that, by the way. I'm echoing everyone on that. Wardlow, FTR, across. Uh, American Dragon, Brian Danielson versus Lionheart, Chris Jericho. Uh, I'll go quick on that one. I'm going it's Danielson for sure. I think it's Danielson. Danielson both ways. I want Danielson to win. And Fuck that. I think Jericho he's all win. the way. Let's go. Yeah? Let's go. Yes. Uh, I'm, I'm yes. calling it right yes. now. Yes. Danielson is going to win this round, but then I bet you there's going to be like a blood and guts too, and he's going, I'm going to challenge, I'll challenge you again. Uh, unfortunately, I think you might be right, Claudio, and I hope that doesn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you're saying, what are, you, what are you going with there, Alex? Oh, no, I'm going with Danielson. Uh, but yeah, like, I, 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 you know, Jericho, he likes to like extend fuse. He wants to like fuse yeah. with the same guy for like six months. Uh, like Eddie Kingston said, uh, he can't get this little six months back. <laughs> you know, he might be working us, but. <laughs> Jericho. You know how he is. Ivan. So, Danielson, though. Uh, my heart wants Danielson, but I have to go with that. I think Jericho might take this one and the, extend the feud because we see Micey Garcia, like I said, what I said earlier, he might not turn his back on Brian and still be still, still be with Jess. So I think he's going to extend the storyline. All right. A storyline extension here. We'll see what happens. Uh, Jungle Boy, Christian Cage. <sighs> Jungle Boy is going to win that one. Christian, uh, Christian. And you want him yeah, to win? Yeah, I think, I think, because I think Luchasaurus is going to come out of nowhere. And, and then, like, and like we think, oh, crap, Christian is winning. And then Luchasaurus is going to come out of nowhere and poke out Christian's eye. And then, no, uh, I, and think, then after, I think, uh, I think, uh, uh, I'm, I'll just go next because you, uh, you said it. I think if Jungle Boy wins, I want him to win. And uh, I think he's going to win. But I think I it can't it- be with help. Uh, you know what I mean? You know, you know, clean... you know, you, yeah. yeah, you know what I picture yeah. this this match is gonna be. It reminded me of uh, I forgot which uh, uh, which wrestling event this was when Roman Reigns was fighting uh, Seth Rollins, and at the end, like you think you think uh, 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 one of them was going to win, but Roman Reigns just kept beating the shit out of Seth uh, Rollins. R- R- Rumble, I think it was. Yes, yes, that one, yes. this year. Yeah, yeah I have Thank a you. feeling. Yeah. I have a feeling this is what's gonna be. either Christian Cage or Jungle Boy are gonna fight each other and they're gonna take that chair and no and no one's gonna uh, no one's gonna win. One of them's gonna walk out and then you're just gonna see them want each other beating the crap out of each other. And Luchasaurus probably gonna come mm. out of nowhere with a question mark on his head. Going, okay. <laughs> Claudio, this is a quick rapid predictions, not a fantasy booking segment we're trying to do here, but uh, we really appreciate your very in-depth detail. Uh, I believe Alex, uh, I believe Alex, you 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 hit on uh, Jungle Boy, Jungle Boy, or did you even get a chance to say it? Uh, I'm too busy laughing, but yeah. I think uh, yeah, I guess uh, Jungle Boy makes sense. Like again, I, I, he has to win with Christian talking all this shit yeah. about. Like you're talking about his dead father for like yeah. Christ's sake. You can't lose. Like yeah. that's the way I feel personally, but maybe I'm just overthinking it. Jungle Boy, Jung- Jungle Boy, Jack Perry, whatever he's gonna go by that name Jungle or that Jack day. Or Sexy Boy Jungle Jack, Jack Perry. Sexy boy, right? <laughs> go all the way, Jack Perry. Let's go for it. Ivan. Uh my heart, I want Jungle Boy to end this uh just to end his storyline. Just move on. 
But something tells me that Christian's gonna win because Luchasaurus is gonna turn heel all along. Uh, he fooled him. Yeah. So many swears. And so many I hope swears though. One show. I, I, I wanted to say that, but I don't know. But I'm happy you said it because yeah. I hope that happens. I like him way better as a as a heel Luchasaurus. I guess it all depends on what color mask he comes out with. If it's a dark one, right. he's exactly. gonna be he's heel. Sure. He can fight yeah. the green one. But he's coming out dark the whole time. Pink. That's the thing. Blue right? one. We'll see. Blue right. one. A red <laughs> one means red one. He wants blood. <laughs> a pink one, a pink one. He wants to, he wants to make, uh, he wants to make peace. <laughs> and a silver one because he wants money, money man Luchasaurus. No, he's gonna go see Andrade for that. <laughs> the Luchasaurus family office. Oh <laughs> can you just God. imagine? Hold on, before we can end, can you just imagine Luchasaurus trying to make deals like Andrade? Hey, here we make money. Here, Luchasaurus. <laughs> <laughs> Cash. And there you have it, guys. You can check out Claudio's <laughs> new segment inst installment here on the channel. It's a fantasy booking with Claudio. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll <laughs> fantasy book. Claudio, I'll just give you segments uh, to put on the channel by yourself. Oh. Ten minutes, you could just fantasy book. Ten minutes straight. Oh, uh, you remember. like Bill Burr does the podcast here by himself, and just Claudio talking to the camera. Claudio, fantasy book. Go. Oh, uh, but for now, we'll continue on fast <laughs> as we rapid fire through the. All about predictions. Casino uh, ladder sure, match. I don't even know who's in that match, to tell you the truth. Well, it was the four oh, guys yeah. in that match. Yeah, Penta yeah, was four guys in that match. Yes, plus what? Penta and plus Andrade and plus a Joker. Well, it, fucking, it better be fucking either Andrade or fucking Roosh. Where I would go to Andrade in this one, fuck. I want Penta okay, because Hopefully. I have an action figure and it's worth it. Unless it's I MJF, like then, then, the, then I'll take MJF, it, but... Yeah. It's, it's a always, tricky one to it's always predict. A, it's always the Joker that always wins, though, right? Uh, if I'm not mistaken, or I think so. Yeah. At least gets to the I don't know, but no. One year it was like Matt Seidel was a Joker and he slipped on the rope and he didn't win. <laughs> no, that was the I think... that was the battle royale. Battle royale. Yeah. Oh, yeah. was it? Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, this is the, uh, the okay. Yeah, shoot, this ladder, is the ladder match. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> it's so crazy. Okay, so you you're saying with what you don't know? You're just I'll go Andrade if he's in the match. Andrade, go Andrade. This poor guy, fucking. You want anything he's gonna win? We're gonna say go. Dante Martin. I hope he wins it. Ooh, ooh. Like, come on, is, man. Yeah, this is an interesting one here, uh, Alex. Uh, go with the Joker slash vacant just for the heck of it. Who cares? <laughs> Ivan, <laughs> why not? Not intriguing either, to be honest, because I don't know who's in the match. So, yeah, yeah. It's, it's really uh, whatever's gonna happen. I think that you said yeah. that everyone's saying it's all about the, the Joker filler. in this match. It's like, a, a damn filler, yeah. either filler. filler and a reveal or a surprise yeah. signing. No, like no that. reason to do the match, I find. Yeah. No reason. That's why I have it at zero hour instead of the main card. Might as well. Yeah. <laughs> Claudio, Joker. You're a Joker guy. No! No, 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 the zero, the devil. I want him to win. I want Penta to win. Penta. <laughs> I want Penta Oscuro. He's going to come out with Sing Baby Sung with Mikey Ruckus and someone else uh, rapping uh, rap Mexican music we don't understand. It's going to be a good match. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. All right, well, uh, say it in Spanish. Say it Cero Miedo. Say it. Say it, Claudio. Say it in Spanish. What is it? Zero miedo. Say there you go. Zero miedo. There you oh, go. Zero. <laughs> Stupid idiot. <laughs> you get, you get there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. I have the action figure, so uh, I so you know what? It's it, it it just makes him Latino because he has the action figure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, listen, okay? We all believe better than Hook. That's for sure. But, Anyways, that's his match. Dale, otro, otro match here. Uh, Speaking I of Hook, there is a match. Oh, oh my God! I don't even want to. No. That's a zero yeah. hour match. That's the, the pre show zero hour. Yeah, I think yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Angelo Parker. Oh, we all know what's oh, going on. No, why? Wait, he's fighting. Wait, is that who he's fighting? Angelo Parker for the yeah. Yeah. title? Oh, yeah. my <laughs> God. Oh, if Hook beats Angelo in five minutes, I'm going to be fucking messaging you, Bruno. And I'm. this is why I'm why I, I'm not a Hook fan for this reason. Hey. But I, and you, yeah. But Why? Because you don't believe his wins? How the hell are you not going to sell to a big guy like him? Seriously. How? That is not possible. A 19-year-old kid can, is beating someone that big of his size. Are you kidding me? A 114-pound man is, is beating grown hey, man, men and winning titles hey, amongst hey, man, grown who knows, men. That's that title that does not even grown men like <laughs> Hey, you got to you gotta, you gotta enjoy the show, right? Yeah, you gotta enjoy the segments and who you gotta was, just battle Martin, before for the ones you don't like. Yeah, yeah. Before you continue, who was that Joker who slipped on the ring again? Matt Matt, uh, Matt uh, he, actually, he actually did that. 
Yeah. Because I, I want that guy to come back and take a slip as he's going his way on the ring. That's something Bruno would do. Actually, that's something Bruno would do. Frank and Bruno are walking to the ring. Frank's all calm. You see Bruno go to my back is out of cat fight. <laughs> Claudio, right. you better not be within meters of me and a ring next time. Because I'll show yeah, right you. Now these fucking matches, these fucking useless matches on this fucking card. <laughs> you know, fuck. Speaking fuck. of useless I'll, I'll, matches, we're a gonna go through the AEW dark ones too. Fuck. AEW World <laughs> Trio. Okay, first of all, uh, we didn't do our predictions for the for the huge for that huge oh. uh, pre card main event. Uh, I'm Which going one? Hook, fucking hook, talk, fuck. Hook all the way. Hook, <laughs> hook versus Angelo Park. We're even doing fucking dark matches too now. Well, you guys brought it up. We all know who's yeah, going to win. Go. Fault. Next one. We all know fucking Eddie Kingston is going to win. Go. The next one. Go. So Fuck. One has two. Are, are, are we still live? No, we're still live. Okay. No, <laughs> we're, still we're, we're just talking amongst us now. Uh, <laughs> we, Jade Cargill and Athena, I guess, might be worth oh mentioning. Oh, my God. Yeah, Jade yeah, Cargill and Athena. I hope Athena Everyone. wins for the love of fucking We all God. hope Athena's going to win. And my, oh, I'll give you my, I hope she wins, but we all know Jade's going to win. So yeah. The question is, though, how good of a match will they put on? Like, how good... Uh, Athena can wrestle. Exactly. That's what I want to see. Yeah. This is gonna yeah, right. this is gonna evaluate Jade's uh, progression. It's gonna be very say. choreographed, I'm sure, with a uh, with spots uh, choreographed uh, PowerPoint style, I'm sure. So I'm sure they're they're wrestling they're right better. now. Just, just like your, just least, like your yeah. favorite WWE women's champions, but it's okay. It's better that they put on a good any show. WWE <laughs> better that they're prepared. Out of the women's division in WWE to AW. Don't even start with that. Don't it's even. Better that they're ready. You yesterday. argue about the hook thing, but don't fucking argue so about that. I'm going with Jade Cargill. Both. I want her to win, and she will win. Because you're an idiot. My girl, Batty. <laughs> Batty section, baby. Uh, you know she's going to win. Alex. Yeah, I mean, I'm going with Jade Cargo to win. I do want Athena to win, but I'm just curious. Let's say Jade wins. We Okay, I know we're just going predictions, but just we can have a discussion later. But who's going to beat that, uh, you know, Jade, like? It should have been maybe Chris Statlander. Serena Deeb. Christina, Serena Deeb. For the I think love Statlander, of God. I think Statlander is the... Would have been good, but she's out. You know? Yeah. But, wait, but by, the time, nine, by the time she hits like that 50 mark, oh, no. maybe she'll become... Another back. year is she, she, is she, champion. Is she, is she, she going to be... Wait, hold on. Is this part of the main match or is it going to be uh, the buy-in match? No, it's the main card the match. Main, main oh, card. I Ivan, God. same... Twenty five dollars better be I know Ivan's a big Jade Cargill fan, and uh... <laughs> uh, a court of England. Entertainment wise, yeah, she is. I mean, I'm a fan of her because she's great on a mic. Uh, she's gonna win, of course. Who I want her to face next? Bring someone from outside. Bring Camille Brickhouse from NWA. Oh, oh, cool. Bring her oh, on. Oh, yeah, that's a bring fun her one. on. And right. then give her a challenge. Give her a real fucking challenge. I like there you that. go. I like that. I like That'll that. That'll be something to see. I mean, uh, I wish it could have been Ruby Soho next, but I don't know what they're doing with her either. Yeah, so, that's that's uh, weird too. Fuck. We'll see. Yeah. Claudio. I am not interested in this match. All right. I hope and I see that. Really Claudio. <laughs> uh, Claudio's focus on what he wants, what his fantasy booking. Uh, AW World Trials Championship. This one is the Dark might order. be split across the board. Dark order is gonna you, win. Dark order, you Dark, want, uh, you want, and you think um, they're gonna win, Alex? You know, I actually just saw something pop up on my Twitter feed. Uh, sorry, I was looking at it while we're on this podcast. <laughs> Supposedly, uh, Fightful is reporting that uh, AEW is not planning on renewing Bobby Fish's contract. What? You only signed, you, you only, you only you, signed for a year. You, so breaking news. You, are those listening? You... Shut up, Claudio. He's trying to break news here. Shut yeah. up, fuck. Shut up, Bruno. So, uh, Bobby Fish, they only signed for one year, whereas with Adam Cole and Kyle O'Reilly, they're locked into five-year deals. Ooh, so Fish's deal is supposedly going to come up in October next month. So I won- I'm now threw off my prediction because I was agreeing with what we were saying. Okay. Dark Order could be winning, and then uh, we have the feud with the uh, Undisputed Elite. But Or maybe they do that anyway since he's on his way out. And who, who's the, who would be the surprise? They'll resign, the other... resign him. They'll resign him. Yeah, that's probably another. Well, hope, uh, that's probably you another. You have to make Adam Cole line. happy, so you have to resign him. So. Yeah, it's the only reason why he came, right? To be in that group, but then he's like the. Well, that's it. Exactly. They're, they're smart. They're breaking that news. Yeah. To, to work the, the Twitter verse again, yeah, hopefully, to, hopefully. To get, yeah. and to get more money for the trio, negotiation. You lose a trio right? and a tag team in that. That's what sucks. Let's say if that's I the don't case, think you lose that, but that's the like, case. Like, like everybody's everybody's in a fucking trios fucking group. So uh, eventually, it's gonna have to happen. Fuck no. 
Yes, oh, man. Again, uh, I'm not the biggest fan, but I know the fans love them. They're not gonna if they're doing this whole trio yeah. thing and the stupid elite. Uh, I mean, undisputed era shit is a big thing. They're not gonna let them walk. They, they maybe they're not. Who knows? They're not. They're not. They're not gonna let him walk. We'll see. If they let him walk, uh, it's because he has something planned or whatever. Yeah. Who knows? Who knows? Who yeah. be- either way, I'll, I'll go with the elite. Either way, though, I think like, you're going to the elite. Taking it, yeah. you, uh, man. Yeah. Honestly, like I fucking love you know everything they've been doing, what they did to bring this other company and like really get into uh, wrestling to this level again. Uh, but man, oh man, just don't win every title and especially be the first ones to win it, guys. Please, man. But they actually haven't hey, done that, though. That's on, the man. thing, though. They uh, weren't the first champions. Like, they weren't the first tag team champions. They weren't yeah, the first know, world know, champions. But, like, they're, like, really... But they're yeah. always they're the there for it. Like, the main storyline, like... Because they have fucking character, fucking... Dri- uh, they're driven characters. Know, People know who they are. Like, but it's now we're three years... You're not in. beating Everyone, the elite. Who are you fucking beating to, to win these titles, in, then? You have to beat the best. Listen, they are the best in AEW. We're three years in. They're not the best in AEW. We're three years in... Uh, they they're starting to really push the shades of the 2000 era of WCW here. If they really, if they don't like, really start putting their shit. Not together. my fucking problem. I know, but I want to <laughs> see it last. I don't want to see it become like WCW became in 2001. You know what I mean? Like, I want to see AW continue. And now that everyone really knows that you guys are the bosses and everything like that, like. At least swerve us a little bit. Don't well, win. Maybe there'll be a swerve. A yeah, that's make true. us want you to win or make your fans want you to win. Fuck, you sound you know like, a, you sound like a, you're, don't you're inject getting grounded. You won't be able to watch the event this Sunday. Oh, Jesus I'm Christ, saying, fuck. You're about yourself. to cry, fuck. No, you're injecting yourself in every storyline. Uh, yeah, but the more you do it, the more people are going to think it's going to happen. And then when it doesn't happen, it's a surprise. So, But, okay. but now it's, it's whatever. We'll see. Again, I'm just uh, obviously I don't want them to win, but. Again, it won't surprise you if they win. Remember, they weren't supposed to win the titles when the, the Hardys uh, before, before. But you know what? You the know Hardys what? were supposed to win it, so it's, it's not their fault. I think I think uh, those Dark Order boys you have put him. in their time. I think they put in their time, and this could be, uh, again, uh, they, and uh, you know what? And kudos to, to the Bucks yeah. and Omega. If they do, f- freaking, you know, these guys were there from day one when people were calling them a joke and everything, Dark Order, like... Uh, See, people thought Dark Order was gone when when Brody was gone. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, uh, they they turned it around, and uh, yeah, jo- uh, John Silver, man. I want to see. I want to see him get some shine, man. I want to see him get some shine. Honey hungry. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Honey yeah. hungry. Yeah. yeah. Well, Again, I love that line he said. He's like, "I'm not the Booker, so I don't know if it's gonna happen." That was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I obviously gonna just to, to not to carry on here. I'm gonna go with the Dark Order. Dark Order. Uh, no, I'm gonna go with Dark Order. I want to win. There's that little like I don't want them to, but they're like they're really busting. You know, Kevin Nash, Hulk Hogan style here. I don't even know what they, the they, fuck you want in the end, they, fuck. I think in the Jesus Bucks Christ. are going to I think in the Bucks are going to win unfortunately, oh. but I I I want them to do the right thing and I want Dark Order. To I'm win. still going to sleep the same way I do every fucking night. So it's either good way, thing I'm I... talking to the internet and not directly to you as case you know. So uh Ivan, I I don't know if you if you touched on it. What, what do you think is going to happen I, here? Sorry, I want everything you put it out. A lot of great facts, Bruno, about Dark Order. The better to stay one. They were a joke when they were brought in. Who the fuck are you? Chance happened. Brody, everything. Overall, the touch. Dark Order. My heart, Dark Order. I think it's about damn time. Most of your members are already gone. Might as well, you know, give it to the guys that really deserves it, like Johnny Hungy and Ryan Reynolds. Uh, yeah. But then we're gonna get. Uh, then we're gonna get. The undisputed elite causing it to, you know, causing to uh, the matchup to Omega and the Bucks. I think it's gonna happen. On that's, on that's paper, it. Dark Order versus the Elite, like it. it there, has, paper there, is, ha- it there has to be honestly, something that happens it. for Dark Order to win. Yes, obviously, right? Agreed. So agreed. Come on, like in the end, as yeah. much as we want Dark Order to win, you're beating the Elite straight up. I don't think that's gonna happen. So that's yeah. why I think uh, Adam Cole and the gang come back and and. Put their nose into the elite's business and set up a program. But yeah. we'll have to wait and see what happens. Who knows? And they'll save ink uh, in my pen. So to, uh... Anything else, uh, Commissioner? <laughs> we, have, uh... we have one last one, guys. It's the, the, the women's tag title. Uh, I mean, the women's four way. No, no, the interim. So yeah, the yeah. interim women's. Yeah. We got one, rid of one, now we got another one. Uh, yep. So I will go quick on this one. Uh, uh, I'm. 
I want Sheeta to win. I want Sheeta to win, but I think Tony Storm is going to win. I think they go Hater. Hater, Jamie Hater, all the way. The hater both. Jamie Claudio, do you, know, do you know what's going on? Were you following this one? Shh. Sheeta, Sheeta's gonna win, but I want uh, Storm. Uh, but, but I think Storm's gonna pick it up. Ooh, good, good answer. You're, you're mm-hmm. echoing a great one here. Come on. <laughs> well, I don't want to give the same answer, but yeah, I kind of think like I think Tony Storm is gonna win, and it's probably the best direction to go. Just go with it, and then. Uh, but I guess yeah, I do want Sheeta to win. I think she's deserving of a second reign eventually. But so. I'll, Storm is probably gonna win. Yeah, she does. Uh, I'd like go. to see. Ivan. I want to hate her by heart, but I think they're gonna give her the storm. I want to hate her though. I want her to be the underdog. I want her to shock the world. Yeah, yeah. That's I what be, I want. Yeah, you need a shocker. I think that could that mm-hmm. be the shocker of the night. So well, you know what may have happened, guys? We know that Tony Khan himself watches this show every week, so he may swerve us now because he saw that. Some of the best guys reviewing... If he's been watching our show, you already have fucking gave us those press passes. I don't think he's fucking watching The them. press passes are on their way. He's embarrassed to get we're into you, on fuck. our way, everybody, because this concludes another AW Dynamite review like we do every Wednesday night here on the Joe Forward Ring YouTube channel. Thank you. Special thank you to a surprise run-in tonight from yeah, Ivan himself, a circle of the bait. Thank you. Special thank you to... The fuck was that? What, what was that? What the hell is that, Bruno? <laughs> we, got, we got Bruno and Bruno on the show. We got two Brunos now. Huh? Bruno what? squared. Bruno squared. What the hell, Bruno? What, what, what was that? <laughs> I think... <laughs> Anyways, Ivan, thank you for coming on. I, I was surprised. I didn't even know about it, so I, I'm, I'm very glad you did come. Um, maybe we could get you on for next week as well, but Gar- I can guarantee you this. We're going to make sure Bruno watches your en- uh, New Japan Pro Wrestling uh, reviews on your channel. And if you guys don't watch his channel, go out and subscribe to Circle of the Bait on YouTube and support this good man. Ivan, thank you very much tonight, eh? Uh, thank you guys for having me on. I, I, I told Bruno I think he's making a surprise. You know, <laughs> catch you guys out of, out of out guard. I've like, been dying to come on, so now I find I'm here. So hopefully, yeah, we'll... Hopefully we'll be here next week. Hopefully we'll see. But I appreciate you all, man. And obviously love what you guys do, of course. Especially Claudio. I, I see what you do, man, in the comedy club. Man. I see Thank it, you. man. Fantastic Thank work. You. Love it. Thank you. That's Thank great, you. man. That's what it's Thank all you. about here in, in, in the wrestling community. We all support each other. Um, but not don't support this guy because this guy... Anyways, <laughs> I was about to say something, but I had to cut and it off. He fumbled it. <laughs> speaking, of, speaking of comedy, Claudio, uh, what do you got going on? Uh, so this Friday night, I'm on the uh, New Talent Showcase happening here in Montreal. It's going to be at, hold on, I'll put up my Twitter and my Instagram. <laughs> it's going to be at uh, at the 2110 Crescent, downtown Montreal. And uh, it's going to be a New Talent Showcase, so I'm going to be on that. And in September, I'm on some comedy competitions. So uh, follow me on Instagram, Claudio Capri Comedy, and I'm going to be there. And that's where I'll post all my stuff. And there you got it, Claudio. Just Gabri. come and support me, so I can win. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Ivan, you want to do a little quick spiel for everybody, get them to, to know where to find you on social media and, uh, and and YouTube as well. Absolutely, you can find us at Circle Debate, and also you can find the Wrestling Delorean podcast. He's part of the league and he's part of our channel, at Circle Debate YouTube channel. You can find us on uh, all social media platforms and catch the Wrestling Delorean Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays. 7 o'clock Eastern on our YouTube channel. And then, of course, Circle Debate Tuesdays for New Japan Show. Wednesday, MMAs. Thursdays, our flagship episodes. And Fridays, our top five. So we're on five days a week. guys are on fire. Thank you, fuck. I feel like I got to work a little harder here now. Everyone's working hard here, but it's great, man. It's great to see. Alex, you want to plug something for yourself or Claudio? Or what's the story? Sure. I mean, I'm on Twitter. (laughs) You can follow me (laughs) at AlexTheElite1. Every once in a while, when I... You know, attend wrestling shows, and that's what we're here. We're talking about. I'll post something, something cool. Most recently, we were at the Academy, as we were talking about. I got the uh, commem- commemorative uh, trading cards from the Academy. Posted a photo, Very so cool. some of the merch that you can get at shows, which is always cool. So history in the making. You know, follow if you'd like to. Yeah. The I mean, first ever Loot Academy, and yes, before we wrap it up again, a big thank you to right there above Frank's head. Mr. Rougeau himself, 
again for bringing us Wrestling Academy. That's Lute Academy in French, Ivan, in case you didn't know. Uh, yes, I, I do. <laughs> I know a little French, not too much. And uh, and yeah, again, thank you, Jacques. It was a great ride watching this this first edition Wrestle Academy, Wrestling Academy 2022. And also, thank you for uh, letting me part, letting me uh, attend uh, Gorilla Position there on the final show. It was a great time. Did a good uh, job, Bruno. After it, it was a good time. Uh, Everyone thinks I'm. Uh, <laughs> I always diss Bruno, but he did a great job on Sunday. He got uh, everything together for the sound and the video and everything to get QT Marshall on the screen to to uh, to tell everybody who the winners were. So great stuff, man! And uh, we can't wait till yeah, next year. Um, everyone that wants to follow us on social media, Joe Fo in the Ring on all social media platforms and on YouTube. And remember, hold on, wait. Remember again. For everyone, we are on the road to AEW in Toronto, AEW Canada. Again, representing Canada in the AEW universe, it will be the, the click, let's call it, uh, that are coming from Jacques Rougeau's Wrestling Academy. And we have an exclusive interview that we have not aired yet. Let's just say Jacques Rougeau said he will be at AEW in Toronto. Let's just leave it at that. Jacques Rougeau himself said he will be there. So again, with the Wrestling Academy, AEW Canada, let's let's follow this. If you don't know, if you haven't seen it yet, again, it's on Jacques Rougeau, the Mounties YouTube channel, the Wrestling Academy. Uh, all four episodes uh, should be up by the time you hear this. And uh, now, again, what do we say, Frank? Wrestling is life. Good night.